and glasses on. <laughs> ah, good evening, chat. It is Wednesday, my lollies, my loyal lollies, which means it is time for more outward. When we last left our hero, Jialin, uh, we were in the process of trying to escape from a dungeon, but then got caught on a uh, impossible to escape area thanks to some uh, lack of foresight on the developer's part. Thankfully, after much rage, we did manage to find the debug controllers, debug controls, so we did manage to escape. Of course, the stream didn't last much longer afterward. Get it? Afterward? Outward? Because not too long after that, we then got over 150 subs from a certain uh, username Vexray that will probably never happen again so I'm eternally grateful to them they didn't even did they drop me Apollo well whatever I shall remember them for all time as I'm sure those of you who were around at the time that this happened will as well we still need to get home divide our loot and then wait to return get their back the rest of the loot as well then boy uh, have it. Thank you for coming tonight. Uh, thank you for the posture check and the hydrate redeem. I shall drink for right now. I'll need to refund your slime though, because we are running a PNG tuber tonight. But it is appreciated all the same. Hey, it's the. Uh, hey, it's a Nunder Danger Girl. How there? How they? Howdy. How you doing? <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Sour Werewolf? I'm running a PNG tonight because trying to run my 3D programs along with Outward is no bueno. It just slows the frame rate of both. Even if I've, even when I did manage to fix the uh, frame rate issue, it causes considerable input delay on the game itself, which becomes such a pain in the ass. So that's why I'm using a PNG right now. You're watching F FMAV, Full Metal, Alch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood with a friend. Oh, that's cool. I see you also have good taste in anime. Yeah, you can't wait for the 4D90. Hope I hope it will have enough juice to chug both the game and 3D tacking. Man, are we already up to the 4Xs? God, I'm not ready. You'll mostly be lurking? Well, that's fine. Thank you so much for the lurks. Thank you for visiting uh, from Danger U. Most of the people I know from NG are actually friends from the Discord or um, from Sib. So I really appreciate another Danger Girl visiting from me just chilling myself there. <laughs> yeah, they were due to come out four weeks ago, but they are delayed. Expect around October. Oh, very nice. I don't think I'll be buy I don't think I'll be purchasing any four four thousand series for a while since I just recently got a 3080. But we'll see. Before that, I'd much prefer to, you know, build my second computer so I can do dual PC streaming. And then I'll just stream my viewer and avatar from there instead. Alright then, enough chalk. Have at thee. Alright then. 
So, let's see, um, I remember when I was sitting here, I was trying to go find the key to that door down there. Or was it a treasure chest or was it a door? Something like that. I need to do that too, but we are fast approaching 35k streaming setup at that point. <laughs> 35,000? Man, you go hard on those stream setups. Uh, yeah, I was looking for, I was looking for a key, right? Yeah, I was looking for a key, and I still couldn't find it, in spite of my best efforts looking through here. And I'm pretty sure I killed the boss of this gym. I looted his corpse, and I was left wanting, looking for this key. I feel like it'd be a pain in the ass to get back home. Uh, moving at such a slow speed anyway, but How much uh, do I have how many uh, I got plenty of anti-poison, okay So worst case scenario, we probably could just come back here later and rumble around Knowing my luck I probably just kept it somewhere Just turn off the key lights in my room since I'm not using my 3d avatar anyway. I probably, it's probably in like a chest or something that I missed somewhere along the way. Like, I didn't realize that this was here. You got uh, a shiv, some garbage clothes, some rags, some ghost size, and a mana stone. But we're gonna take a one look more past through the dungeon. Make sure there's nothing we missed, no hidden doorway. Or what have you. And then we're going to head back to town, sell some of this garbage, uh, speak with a... Speak to someone about the uh, quest information we found. Get stuck on a... On a doodad that the developers did not plan for and have, and have to debug myself out again. You know, the usual stuff. Oh. I... I don't remember this being here. Yeah, I don't remember this part at all, chat. What's with these eggs? These weird eggs. Ooh, a luxury tent. Very unexpected. Interact with notes? We aren't pleased with this arrangement either, even with the aid of that Sororborian. There is only so much we can do with just one mage. More aid will be coming in the next few months. So be, please, so be patient. You notice the key attached to this note. It has the face of a Tuanasaur carved into the handle. Hell yeah, chat! We found it! This is what I was looking for. Woo! Something tells me I'll need to drop my bag, though, because I just have a bad feeling that there's going to be more garbage waiting for me at the end of that. Oh, and there's an alpha sandwich here. And a uh, recipe for a scaled satchel. Some more anti-poison and mana stones. But we can actually go to sleep really quick. There is a luxury tent here, chat. Which is good, because I left my luxury tent back at town. <laughs> We're going to take advantage of it. I wonder if it's considered a safe zone. Oh my god. So clutch. I'm so glad I decided to come back here after all. Alright, I'm gonna drop the bag here. I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that the bag will not rot my food when it's off my body. The only problem is ambush is 100%, but we can reduce that with some guarding. Gonna go to sleep otherwise. I don't want to get ambushed by a freaking dinosaur. So, do that. I wonder if the game would spawn a dinosaur in here, just for shits and giggles. This game is extremely unfair, so you have to be unfair back if you want to get anything done. Now, since I know where to find this now, 
I feel comfortable just um, leaving the tent here. We're going to have to go through here again anyway to uh, pick up stuff. Going to make some room in inventory. And then we'll get going. Can I just make a scaled satchel really quick? Scaled satchel requires a primitive satchel, which is basically just some leather. Only problem is I don't have any hide to make that wood. I wonder if there's anything I could tear up in my inventory. Probably not. So yeah, that's a that's a bummer. Otherwise, it would be nice to make a scaled satchel so I can go downstairs. And I'll just leave my other bag up here. You can only ask for so much, you know. Alright. We do need to reduce our load really quick. Gonna drop the padded helm here. Gonna only take one of these boots. Pathfinder armor. I got the uh, Pathfinder set going on here. This has better poison protection, but this has a better armor rating by a lot. Gonna drop this here for now as well. Definitely don't need the Brutal Club with me either. Always have to keep the pressure plate traps and traps period, would you? This would be great for making even deadlier weapons. Okay. Gotta drink some water. Gonna eat some meat. Gonna eat it through my mask. Gonna eat, uh, gonna to bring this with me as well. And I'll, okay, I'll get these things later. Concoction that temporarily increases your physical damage? Hell yeah. The game is telling me something, chat. Alright. So I'm fairly sure that what waits me up ahead is more bullshit to deal with. Horror X it needs some repairs. It looks like. Crimson Shield's also starting to fall apart, too. As much as it pains me, I will need to leave the Pathfinder Claymore here for now as well. But I'll come back for it. I should have the room. The Alpha Sandwich, which is made out of Alpha Deer, basically gives you the Berserk attributes, which makes you much, much, much stronger. It's kind of wild that I actually managed to miss this cave the first time I ran through here. Oh, there's some wood. Why is there just wood in this junk pile? Come to think of it, have I been down here? I have, right? This place is so confusing, even with... Okay, so this was the main... This was the uh, regular entrance, okay. And... Okay, I went this way, and I went down there. Which means... I went through here. Oh! Yep. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. It always happens. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, chat. I truly am a glutton for punishment, aren't I? 
but I digress. Alright. Let's head back to- OH SHIT! The fuck did I just do? You could fall off from that? Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart actually skipped a beat when that happened, Chad. <laughs> okay, let's stop fooling around. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell is that doing here? And it's hostile, too. A ra I thought I was friends with these guys, but uh, not with this one, apparently. I think I fought one of these things before, chat, but... I remember having to juke the shit out of it. Fuck that noise. We are going to use every means available to us to defeat it. And that means traps out the asshole. It's just roaming around down there. I wonder if it spawned as soon as I picked up the key. That's probably what happened. Because it wasn't there before. I'm fairly sure I cleaned the hell out of this dungeon. Let's see now. Metal. Do I not have any more? Guess not. No, okay. I have to turn that back on because I actually cannot see. We're going to prepare ourselves for the worst. I'm going to go ahead and activate my... I'm going to activate some of my... Uh, boons here. All right. Where are you, buddy? Uh, to do. Oh, I see you now. Scary motherfucker. Oh, okay, okay. The game has decided once again to fuck me over by sending my sniper shot just now into... Also, I just realized that my pistols is loaded. Okay, my pistol is loaded. Oh, is he gonna get stuck on the stairs? That's fine with me. Oh, no way. He walked around it. Of course. Yes, game. Yes, by all means, game. Okay, that works too. Oh, shit. He is quite fast, chat. He is fast. We are running. We're gonna have to fight him in hand to hand combat after all. The shield is quite fast, so I'm able to block just in time before it strikes. Ow, fuck. Holy shit. His attacks hurt. But he is burning and he is dying from poison. The horror axe is a beast. We win. Loot the Immaculate's corpse, which gives us a lot of decent potions, fire varnish, a blood shroom, and the arrow, the one of the arrows I used in him. Totally worth it. I wonder if we'll have to fight more of these. We're gonna find out, chat. Just you wait. Gotta heal up. My boons are still running too, so if we hurry, 
We can make use of them, continue to make use of them. Even down here. I don't see any more immaculates, though. Are, not, are they not going to spawn any further? Fine by me. That reminds me. Um, I do need to... Am I almost out of water? Yep. I need to fire up another discipline. I wonder if I could just use a discipline potion. That's what these things do, right? Ooh, it gives a warm boon. I don't need to worry about using a freaking spell for that then. Sadly, focus is going to take a while. But I think I can just drink a potion for discipline. So we're going to do that instead, chat. Where'd all my discipline potions go? Am I going nuts? There it is. However, we're going to wait until we run into any other baddies first. Enter the dead tree. Oh, man. The hell is... Oh. Oof. Ah. I need more... I need more, um... Traps, chat. I need... Or I need something, you know? Gotta turn off this really quick. We can probably kill the smaller one. With a little bit of, with some potions and with some spells. We'll just need to convince it to come over here really quick. Oh no. Oh, I fucked up. They're both coming over here, chat. Okay, let's do this. Um. Um. Okay. I need to... What the hell am I doing? This is a scene change. I can't just... I hope there are no more enemies down here. It'd be easier to fight them if we're in an open area. Okay, that's it. We're using the fire varnish. No pain, no gain. Oh, how did I not block that? What the shit? Are you... you're blocking with your hand? That's just mean. Ow, shit! Ah, oh, scary motherfucker. He was not able to block that, though. Once again, I am amazed with this axe. Did he just counter me? My stamina is dead. I need to... Escape, I need to... Use... Oh, God. God, guy up! <sighs> Epic. Oh, he died from burn damage. Based and red-pilled. Oh, I love fire magic. I love... I love magic, period. I was a fool to not make more use of magic earlier. Now then, allow me to make Roasted Horror really quick. Yeah, that's right. Stagger, 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 stagger. I did it, chat. 
that was such a mess. If I wasn't as prepared as I was, or if I was not a lot more sober, and not as sober as I was, this could have only ended in total defeat. What's this? The human Jaeger Sullivan promised us he would find a way to free us from our rage towards the enemy. We must trust in him, but do not be stupid. If he does not have a solution after two full moons, leave without warning. Oh, shit, now I feel bad. So basically, this these Immaculates were trying to find a way to um, stop being evil. We suspect he may have other motives in mind, and that longer we the longer we stay in this marsh under the shadow of the enemy, the greater our chances of being discovered and killed. Take no risk, my kin. We Immaculates must always stand alone in this world. Hmm. At last, everything is clear. These Immaculates were working with Jaeger Sullivan to find a way to overcome their instinctual rage against those who bear the spirit of a lot. Interesting. You should let someone with power in the blue chamber know. Perhaps you even have enough proof to confront Jaeger himself. Awesome. I'm glad we stuck around. If we had left the uh, dungeon like we were planning to earlier, we would have never got discovered all this. I really wish the screenshot feature would work in uh, Google Games for this game, but I can't seem to activate it. At pressing F12 does nothing, so I have to do things manually, and that's why you see the game freeze for a second. Opening the ornate chest. Holy fuck, what is this? All swell that ends well, chat. Huh? What's this? A glowstone backpack? What is this? Capacity of 75. Bag with a ring of bright glowstone which negates the need for a lantern. Beautiful. More loot. More loot. More loot. More loot. When this game shines, it really does shine. Cool. I don't know who this Jaeger Sullivan character is. If I had met him in town, I probably forgot about him just as quick. But we will find out, chat. We will find out and we will kick his ass. I kind of feel bad for the Immaculates, though. It looks like they are just trying to figure out a way to stop being assholes. But... At the same time, this makes me feel even more justified for not joining a lat in the at joining uh, joining a lat. So here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're going to uh, carry some choice loot with us back home. We're gonna sell what we don't need, keep the rest. We're gonna head back here. We're going to loot what's left of the bodies again, using a bigger backpack. And using equipment that makes me speedy. And then we're going to complete the quest. And then we're going to see how much we have time we have left in the rest of the day. And we will just continue from there. Sound good? Sound good. First, though, uh, let's head down from here. We're going to exit through that pat that uh, other exit we found earlier. So many Russians in Niju? Yeah, there are. They've been there for a while, though. <laughs> okay.
How am I gonna do this? Pretty sure the game is not gonna despawn anything, so I can probably comfortably leave them all here. Just like out in the open. I want to keep this Palladium Great Axe, but I know you can just, you could probably just make another one later. And I don't really use these super weapons anyway, so I might just sell it. I'll definitely sell these jewels, these uh, gemstones. I don't need those right now either. I'm gonna see what I can build out of Thorny Cartilage. If I could learn any more. Wow. Extreme bleeding. I need a tail for that though. Oh, Io. A thorny claimer. Only 32 damage though. Not sure if want. What else we got here? Spider Spear does 34 damage. 26 impact. Manticore Great Mace is Kyle is only 34, but Manticore Dagger and Makeshift Torch. I've never played this, but I've heard it's good. It can be quite good, actually. Sometimes it can be quite frustrating to you, but you get used to it. Gold Lich Claimer is 41. Fang Trident, Fang Shield. Yeah. I guess I'll hold on to my Thorny Cartilages until I find a case use for it. <laughs> I kind of fucked up there because I haven't done a spooky laugh in a long time. Asha, welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Or this morning in your time zone? <laughs> uh, good morning. Welcome to the stream. Always a pleasure. <laughs> It caused a great time too. We are rather. I just completed this uh, quest fully. I didn't even need to use my obsidian pistol. So we're gonna head back home, sell some of our loot, and believe me, we have quite a bit of loot to sell this time. And then we're going to uh, continue with the quest line. I got this. Even this got this. I got this uh, cute backpack as well. Check this out. It glows in the dark. I look like a technomancy or something. I love it. I love it. I love this bag. I think I'll I think I will replace I'm thinking about replacing my wolf bag, my furry bag with it. The only problem is since it lights up, it will light me up anytime I'm trying to sneak around and that's no bueno. I'm doing laundry. Always a pleasure to watch you while I drink milk. <laughs> uh, that's an that's an oddly specific thing to like watching me through, but I can dig it. Uh, FF14 is not letting me play with friends. QQ. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? Because you're in a different data center or something? Okay. Alright then. The world is full. Rip. Rip. I'm sorry. That should open fairly soon, right? If you just wait a bit. Depending on which data center you're playing on anyway. Uh, which one of these am I gonna drop? I didn't. I never didn't know mining picks were so heavy. As much as it pains me, it appears that I must drop the Palladium Great Axe for now. I'll come back for you, friend. Oh God, do I have to drop more garbage? Damn it! God damn it! Right, drop this too. They will be there waiting for me at the beginning. Ah! Fine. God. Need to drop even more loot. This triggers me. Um. Gonna have to drop my occult remains, my predator bones, to my scaled leather. Is that pull? Is that axe glowing? It is. It, no. It's uh. It's on. It's electrified. It must be an anti, uh, an anti immaculate axe of some kind. Alright, gonna drop this as well. 
Been trying for five hours? Oh. Shit, that actually sucks a lot. I'm sorry. Hopefully you're able to get in in uh hopefully less than five hours in the near in the immediate future. Let's try not to get lost on the way back home, chat. To give you an idea of how easy... So I think... I believe I'm right over here. That's where the huge tree is. And I need to be over here. Crossing those things is a great way to poison myself to death. So we will not... We're gonna go in this direction instead. Gonna use the last of my water. I don't have any water. Shit. Um, okay, we're just going to make a quick run for it. It's uh, 3.37 in the afternoon. We should be able to make it. I need to refill up with water and I'll make my trip all the way back here. We need to first get out of this, um, get out of this area, and then we will head north towards, uh, the city, a monsoon. I should at least eat some food. Man, I'm really low in supplies, aren't I? I don't even have any food. I'll eat some field rations, I guess. Alternatively, I could also just find a campfire that I left here earlier, boil some water and drink that, I guess. So I'm fairly sure Oh god, bandits. I ain't no got I got no time to deal with y'all right now. For real, for real. I am seriously I am I am but a humble loot goblin. Please leave me alone. Are they still following chat? Nope, they are not. Do need some iron scrap though. Looks like they're still walking in this general direction, but I think we are otherwise safe from their uh, molestation. I see the city in the distance thanks to that beam of light. And as, I, as you can see here, that is the big tree that I mentioned before. Man, the views up here are great. Monsoon is usually pretty foggy, so it's hard to see anything cool, but when you can, it looks glorious. But we must do our best to not be distracted, chat. We must head back to town, change out or swap out our gear, and then head back here to recollect all of the other loot. I still can't believe that Seth used to just sprint through the entirety of these locations because apparently to him you could run faster than you can be caught by enemies and that has not been my experience so far in this game chat and my experience so far in this game is um uh you're you're, go you're going to die <laughs> you're gonna run out of stamina you're going to be unable to defend yourself you're going to be eaten by dinosaurs this world has been full for at least the past five months May I ask what world you're trying to join? I used to play in Balmung pers or personally, but I've been to resubs in a while. Primal Lamia, huh? Dang. No idea then. <laughs> Maybe it's the uh, time of day that you're trying to join? 
whatever the time of day is where you're located. Hold up. Y'all seeing this shit? I always wondered what was inside those giant crystals. You know? Is that a dinosaur? Mysterious. If that's a dinosaur, I wonder what's inside the other ones. That's kind of freaky. Just got all the corpses here, all the dinosaurs I hunted and killed. Just getting to the stupid tree. That's some holy light. <laughs> Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Ah, oh, another Tyrannosaur. We will avoid it, chat. We must do our best to avoid being distracted. That's like my Kryptonite in this game. Ooh, shiny. Dies 10 seconds later. Still got the corpses of many a Tyrannosaur around here, though. I wonder if I can just buy a leather in town. I'll buy some hides in town, craft some leather, and then make this scaled bag. I'm probably going to have to buy another one of those big bags. And I really, I, need, I really need some food, chat, but I don't want to use my alpha sandwich just yet. It's also getting fairly late in game. You can head to town. Going to take a big slap in game. Going to use the restroom myself at IRL. And then we'll continue our journey. Did I take a wrong turn on the road to Albuquerque again? Yeah, I did. Of all the maps I've had to map so far, I've generally found that this one is the most difficult to navigate in the evening. Can I eat this marshmallow raw? Hmm. Oh, more bandits. We let them pass and we continue onward. Onward and outward. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's also a lot easier to avoid people when you can actually see in front of you. Oh, no way! There is, in fact, a giant dinosaur in that crystal! Huh. That's so cool. If that's a giant dinosaur in there, I wonder what's inside the other crystals. i will scare it along in the, other in the other realms. This makes me want to re-explore those crystal towers. For now, though, we've made it to the ferry. To the city. You! Wait a moment! Uh, okay. I will be sure to do that soon, but first I need to... I need to, uh... I need to take some time off to myself, you know? Let's stop by the blacksmith really quick. Fat, Ernst the Melon Farmer, Vince the Blacksmith, Shapir Lida, 
Fang and Claw Inn, Damien Lockwell, City Hall. Oh shit. I'll drop this too. Let me go to sleep, please. Wait. Make sure that I have the correct stuff equipped that needs to be repaired. So repair this. For three points, sleep for more. Here we go. Then after that, I need to go ahead and grab my axe. Repair that too. Spend some time repairing that as well. four hours or so should be decent because I'm just afraid that I'm gonna get into another fight or something I wonder where Yeager's who Yeager Sullivan is and if he is in this town as we speak okay so, all of my stuff is nicely repaired. I'm gonna leave my bag here for now. Actually, no, that's not a smart idea. Um, I'm going to equip the brass backpack. I'm going to open my trader backpack. I'm gonna open this here. And I'm gonna dump all my unnecessary, um, all the uh, things I do not need in the trader backpack for now. Like, everything. Except for, you know, water skin. Oh, no, 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 no. I've caught, been caught many times without Flint and Tinder. We are not getting rid of that, chat. This can be rather time-consuming, can't it? Unless you're like really fast about it or have done this enough times. Gonna sell the gemstones for profit. Gonna keep the pistols with me. Okay. So, let's go ahead and drink some water from the community well really quick. Still, though, who in the world is Jaeger? Hmm. Go to the city of Berg in the Enmerker Forest to warn someone in a position of Thor. Okay, so we do need to go to Icy. So we're we going back to Berg anyway. But first, we're going to present this evidence to Lockwell. Hopefully, Lockwell will not turn out to be a bad guy in the end, right? Who will totally not uh, stick me in the back. I mean, I guess he hasn't really... How can I help you? ...come across as being evil so much as he has been paranoid. So I don't have much to worry about from him. But you can never be too sure in this game. Even though the story in this game is nothing really to sneeze at, it does have a decent enough story, I feel like, to be worthy of, you know, intrigue. No one said you have to be the best at it, you just have to be okay-ish. So let's go, since, um, let's go ahead and go talk to, da to Damien, since I don't really trust the holy mission or the god, a lot, 
the uh, god Alat right now. Gonna go over to Damien's uh, city hall, which is over to the side. What's your end goal right now? Um, right now, my end goal is to... I was... I was uh, completing my Jedi Knight training, but in this game, it looks like I don't have enough skills. I can always get more skills, and I can afford to learn two more classes. Right now, I got... Um, oh, I got the uh, Combat Monk, the... Um, I got the, I'll even show, uh, I got, was basically the Jedi Knight training. And I recently learned magic, which required me to sacrifice a great deal of my stamina and health. So I got two more breakthrough points that I can use to learn two more classes in this game. Because you're only allowed to learn three classes in this game at once. And they're permanent too. That's why I've been dragging my feet. And there's a lot of different classes I could learn. There's actually one more trainer in here that could teach me to become a philosopher. Which allows me to throw magical chakrams at people, right? And also makes my mana regenerate slowly over time. Or, I could head back to the city of Berg, which is the forest city, and learn some hunter training, which gives me a lot of cool skills to use with my axe. Bunch of other stuff. Hey, Seal, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? <laughs> Let's see, where is the... Ah, uh, here he is. See, this is what I'm talking about. He is a philosopher. He has the ability to throw magic chakrams at people, which is why he has a floating disc right next to him. He seems pretty trustworthy, so I think I can safely talk to him about the current situation. Make it quick. I've been hearing rumors. Can you give me a report? Let's see. There, were, there are Immaculates working with Sobor soldiers in the marsh, and there was a gang of bandits that were attacking the Holy Mission. Which one to tell him about? In most games, I either go sword and bow or dual axes. I like either, like either charge blade or dual blades in Monster Hunter. Good deal. Usually in RPGs, I like going bards, but I'm really addicted to shooting stuff with my arrow. So in this game... I, for the longest time, went Axe, Shield, and Bow, but then I started falling in love with the Claymore style of gameplay, but playing with a Claymore in this game is really hard, because you do have very little defense and need to, and you need to be really good at timing counteracts, counterattacks and such, which is difficult in this game, but pays off really well if you get used to it. And every monster has a different, like, attack pattern. Some of them like to combo, and they also, a lot of them have dodges, and a lot have the, also have count combo also have counters themselves so it gets really difficult and if you don't have a lot of skills invested in this game you're going to find yourself being overpowered very quickly that's to say i haven't even that doesn't even that says nothing of even the armor and equipment you need to get in order to stay relevant all right do i throw the immaculates under the bus or do i i wonder if this game is going to let me tell him about both I wonder if they'll let me tell him about both. I'll tell him about the bandits first. <laughs> then again. I beg your pardon? If you want to do something about Sorobor's involvement, you'll have better luck in Berg. <sighs> what now? Hmm. So he's going to hire more mercenaries to deal, to protect the town. But I declined to tell him about the Immaculates. I'm curious now how the story would have changed if I told him about the Immaculates, since it's not going to let me do that now. But I feel bad for the Immaculates because they are just working with the Soroborians to learn how to stop being angry at the at Elat, etc., right?
but I could still go to the city of Berg anyway. This game is very immersive, yes. It's also very difficult. It can be frustrating too, but... I have an idea. I'm gonna go talk to, go to the temple and see if I could talk to someone there about my findings. See if the game even gives that as an option. I'm sure they would... Because I imagine that they would be very interested to know that the Immaculates are trying to not be angry anymore. Because they're tired of fighting with this with the immersive with the with the um they're tired of fighting people you know I can eat some grilled marshmallow and can I drink some water as well winter thank you so much for resubscribing really appreciate that. How are you doing tonight? Or this morning? Both, actually. <laughs> Both is good. Welcome to Elat's Temple, Traveler. Be at ease. All are welcome here. All are welcome to these nuts. How can I help you? So he teaches a two-handed mace skill. But I don't use two-handed maces, so there's no need for that right now. There's some occult remains just sitting here. They have a lot of, uh... They actually have a lot of... Cool loot that's just sitting around. Protected underneath all these uh, magic spells and such. Dead bodies of horrors. I actually have not, uh, have not explored Elat's temple all that much. I wonder if anyone here will teach me anything. Any new skills or sell me anything? It looks like a lot doesn't want to talk to me because I'm not one of his disciples. Well, fair enough. Doing well, ah? Huh? I'm awake in both times. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well. Very glad that you're doing well, in fact. Let's go upstairs, chat. See if there's anything over there. I wonder what these things are, anyway. Are these, like... Immaculate eggs? I doubt it. The Immaculates, I'm pretty sure, are automatons. The game's not gonna let me go upstairs? False. Fine. Okay, so I guess we can't report our findings to the Holy Temple. Which means we are going to head back to the dungeon, grab all the loot, make all the monies, and then head back here. And then we'll make our way back to Berg. Well met, friend. Alright. First off, though, I do need to use the restroom. I will be right back, chat.
and I am back chat. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're reading the metaverse? You can read my metaverse any day to answer. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind reading the metaverse sometime. I'm kind of neutral on the VR chat situation, even though I feel really bad for the people that have are hard of hearing or, or have it have well mostly for the people hard of hearing because they can't use the closed caption system anymore which you know the game should have by default anyway I don't know why it's not a default thing in VR chat which is really dumb not gonna lie but I have been meaning to go back to VR chat for a long time just have not really found an excuse to at the moment all right How am I going to do this, chap? There we go. Very quickly, just shove everything in here. <laughs> Why the shock face? What are you shocked about? What's so shocking about wanting to go back to... Oh, it's a sad face. Oh, my bad. I thought that was a shock face. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've had my reasons for not going back to VR chat recently. And they were predating the current drama with VR chat. But I do want to go back there eventually to hang out and to make content. Part of the reason I've been putting it off is because I want to, finish, to redo my VR chat avatar. A personal one for lulls but it will take some time and some learnings so not anytime soon unfortunately um let me go ahead and sell this pathfinder no i'll sell it when i get back okay all my equipment's ready let's go ahead and make a run f let's go ahead and eat some food really quick some grilled marshmallows Gonna drink some water on the way out, and then we will make our way back there as quickly as we could, as we can, to grab our loot, carry as much of it as we can, and head back home. You know what? I probably should at least carry the antidotes with me, in case I get poisoned again. It's also 2 in the afternoon, I wonder if we'll even be able to make it in time. Before darkness falls. We will do our best, chat. Okay. Now, so I should, should probably bring this too, huh? Yeah. Okay. And I should always bring my flint and tinder with me. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that, chat. Such a bad habit. We can leave the bags and everything else. We'll bring the bandages with me in case I need to reheal myself. I'm fairly sure I don't need anything else. Yeah. We can go without the life potion, too. But otherwise, 95 pounds worth of space, we can do this chat. Once more into the breach. Once more into the Hulled Marsh. I also have a bad tendency to get distracted and try to fight bandits or other dinosaurs while roaming around the marshlands when I really should be running to and fro from a dungeon 
to collect stuff and bring it back to town. I also just realized, perhaps a little bit too late, that I should have brought some endurance potions with me. So I can just heal my stamina back up. In fact, it would have also probably been a very smart idea if I had brought some lighter armor to wear, which does not impede my sprint speed. Every time I leave town to go on an adventure, I always realize that I've forgotten one or two things. This is just like when I go on vacation in the, re in the meat space world. As soon as I leave, I think to myself, hmm, I should have brought this, I should have brought that. Already starting to slow down, huh? Dang. At least my stamina regeneration's fairly fast. There it is. That's our location up there. The big tree. The big sheet. Alright. Nothing in the supply cache. What a very pleasant day today, here in the marshlands. Ah, more bandits. I really don't want to fuck around and find out who these guys are right now. I know I can fuck them. I can know I can fuck them over, but I just I really don't want to deal with them right now. Not to mention one of them is a mage who fires ice magic, and I really don't want to deal with this shit right now. There's money to be made, chap. There's loot to tear apart for rare items. I really don't want to fuck with you right now. Please leave me alone. Alright then. We managed to scale back up here. Let us go ahead and make our way back inside the dead tree. How do we get down there again? Okay, so... We can go around or we'll take a nice shortcut over here, actually. Let's uh, not accidentally kill ourselves. Let's not accidentally kill ourselves. Ow. I took some damage, but not too much. Alright. That wasn't too bad, chat. Considering other things I've done to myself in this, that was actually not too bad. In fact, that was, that was fine, I dare say. I used to have such a horrible fear of heights. Even in game. Rise bread roll. Re-entering the dead roots. Alright then. Let us loot everything of value. Or most things of value, I should say. Carry some, gather some mushrooms too while we're at it. An ochre spice beetle? Good. Gonna make sure we are scraping this dungeon with a fine tooth comb to get a all the goodies. Got a shovel there. The game doesn't let you take any shovels. There's no use for it, I suppose, in game. This always confuses me. How do I get back up there? It's not here. Ah, it's right there in front of us.
I wonder if Lulz is going to accidentally step on a pressure plate trap again and get themselves stabbed in the foot a second time. Ha! Nice try, game. Okay. Open Worker's Corpse. A side of raw alpha meat. Which will go bad if we don't use it to cook something fairly soon. Some crimp nuts. Crimping on crimping their style. I could probably I will probably just go outside and uh, cook something really really quick. Enter the dead tree. Yes. Okay, for a second there, I thought their body—I thought they were going to respawn. Hmm. Nothing here respawned, huh? Okay. Now then. What else we got here? A full set of Pathfinder armor even. Um salt, some arrows. More bodies. More bodies. Improvised bedroll. Did I get lost again? I feel like I'm... I feel like I just walked past it. No, I didn't. It's over here, isn't it? Iron sword. Recurve bow. More antidotes for poison. Here it is. Yeah, this was easy to miss the first time. Pathfinder Claymore. More mana potions, a nice luxury tent. Soldier's Corpse, some recipe books they don't need. Bunch of books here that will not let me pick up. Okay. How much more room do I have in my pack right now? Oh, we're getting fairly close to capacity already. 20 pounds left or so. So yeah, I think we've looted this room thoroughly. wood and more of these garbage bows huh. no fuck hey it actually missed me that time huh eat shit there's something blinking down there did I miss a spot The answer is yes, Lulz did miss a spot somewhere. But how do I get over there? Huh. Interesting. There appears to be a big gas tree branch here that you could stand on, apparently. Huh. Was this intentional? Was I supposed to be able to do this? Or was this just part of the...
It looks like this was intentional. Oh, this was not intentional, chat. I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. Because now I can't get back up. Wait, no, we can just fall down these roots very carefully. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Aha! Hidden area. I found a hidden area, chat. Um, is it gonna let me... Ha ha! So you were supposed to be able to climb those roots over here. What do we got in here? What's in here? Ooh. Awesome! Hoggers, I might even say. That's not even the... Uh, I'm not even sure that was the treasure chest I was actually looking at. It said pro it was probably this one over here. I like little things like that. It makes the uh, loot searching, the loot, the looting, all the more useful. I'll keep the iron sword so I can make that um, fancy sword I saw earlier. I wonder if I can eat this raw. But I do need some marshmallows to make to marsh marshmallow jam, so I should probably not eat that. I only need one of these iron swords, though. There we go. And just like that, I think I also have a recipe here that requires a brutal spear, so maybe I should keep that as well. Hmm, no, the Phytosaur spear actually requires a fishing harpoon. Imagine that, chat. The rest of the stuff should be fairly easy to get. Let's do one more pass here to make sure we've picked up everything of value. And then we'll leave. We'll head back to town. I should probably head back up to the entrance, main entrance. That's it. We have cleared this place out thoroughly. Uh, ash filter mask, ash boots. I need some ash armor. Ass armor. But I think we did well, chat. I think we got a lot of decent stuff here. A lot of things for sale, for resale. Not a badass claymore. Definitely better than the prayer claim where I got back home. That's for damn sure. Don't really need the brutal club for anything. And with that out of the way, let us go. Wait, we should exit the other way because there's still a chest out there that I've not looted. Really should have brought an endurance potion with me, you know. Wait a minute. Oh, it's an arrow. Should I take the improvised bed rolls? Nah. Just dead weight. 
Could always use some green mushrooms though. Make sure there's nothing over here either. Not even anything to mine. Hope we don't get hungry anytime soon because I don't have anything to eat raw. No fire either, so I can't make any food at the moment. Check every nook and cranny. Chests are empty. Nothing over there. Took the crimp nuts from this as well already. Body is empty. Okay, I think we're good, chat. I think we've gotten everything. It's too late, mother. I've seen everything. Or have I? So, wait. Could have sworn I saw an arrow here just now. Alright. Now, we can leave. Cut us late in the evening. Rip. As I said before, trying to travel in the evening in this game is fairly difficult. So we're going to take a big nap for now. Just a few hours. Nothing special. And then we're going to continue our journey back home. <laughs> Let's see how our food is doing. Oh, it's starting to spoil. Drink some water. Don't have any food to eat, so we better just make our way back home fairly quick. Double time. Nothing in here except for flint and steel, so don't really need that. Alright. Back home it is. I'm going to go ahead and proactively just equip... Um, I take that back. I don't think this is a good idea. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Fuck that. If I need to, I'll switch to a handgun to shoot people in the face, but otherwise... It's gonna put me off balance weight-wise. So, not the best idea. Save some time. We're just gonna go ahead and cross the. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cross the marsh over there. Then from there, we 
Because I'm fairly sure we're over... This is the huge tree. Actually, didn't I try this last time and ended up getting myself even more stuck? I need to check my map really quick, chat. So there's the big spire over there. Oh, right, because... Okay. The dark ziggurat's in the south. Which is that one. That one over there in the east must be... The Spire of Light, which is over here in the bottom right. So we are probably... And these are the beaches over here. And there's some bridges right there too. So we should be... Right over here. And if we cross the dirty water over here, we can just keep going east and go north to go home. Nice shortcut. Another alchemy kit. These things are worth like 60 silver each. So another nice profit for us. Got nine antidotes too. What the hell? We're a little bit overweight at 103.5, but I think I could manage that. That's not that bad. There's also a source of clean, clean drinking water here that I never noticed before now. It's kind of weird that that's there. I can't wait to explore a dark cigarette later. For the memes. Thanks to my Pathfinder armor, I have some resistance against the poison. But it's still draining my health at an incredible rate. Alright. Don't ask me why banning myself up after going through a Rancid water is healing me, but that's also a thing. Alright. Time to head back to home. Well, it's not really home, but... Oh, and I forgot there was uh, a mineable mark. I didn't bring any pickaxes with me anyway. Is this... I thought there was a cave entrance in there too. Alright. Alright. Back, back to, back to the city of Monsoon. Back to Alat, Alat's domain. Another bow, which I will sell for profit. Not much profit, but it is still money to be made. Um, it's seven in the morning, right? Let's see now, rain over here. Okay, we should be going to steer it with this way. Running out of bandages, chap. Bag is overweight. I just realized something. What does the wet modifier even do? Cold water defense, negative 2. Frost resistance, negative 5. Oh, that's just lovely. So basically, I can be frozen to death a lot easier. No way, no. Because one, I just saw bandits in the distance, but I think they fell keeled over and died. The music also just kind of stopped. It'd be nice if they had sound effects to the rain. Hmm. 
making our way up north, walking fast. Bandits pass, and I'm homebound. We should probably also visit the giant city after this. See if there's any goods there. Or at least go to the, um, back to the Crystal Tower. I'm still curious why it has a dinosaur in there. The danger here. Fairly sure Tyrannosaurus can outrun us, but it looks like he has spotted the bandits instead. So they're gonna fight. I will sit here and laugh as they kill each other for my amusement. I will kill, I will defeat the winner, of course. Gives you all a basic idea of what the combat in this game looks like. Man, they really kicked that Tyrannosaurus ass, didn't they? Let's uh, take out the mage first, if we at all at all possible. Ha! Oh, uh, you're dead. This guy will be fairly soon, too. Nope. Get you baited. Yep. Y'all tried to dodge, but y'all just ain't dodge, can't dodge quickly enough. Unless there are more bandits over there on the horizon, I'm fairly certain I can just walk over unmolested at this point. God, this is so much heavier than Ash Armor. It's not even funny. I mean, sure, it has better resistances, but better defenses over here. All right, and I'm hungry. Yes, thank you for reminding me, game. We're gonna have us some delicious meats fairly soon, so please be patient. I fucking hate I I switches so much. Can you eat marshmallows raw? Let's find out. Oh, hey yo, you can. Got some raw meat here for a Tyrannosaur, but I still don't have the Tyrannosaur uh, thing you're saying. Is that a looks like a mineable iron patch? Nine in the morning, we should be able to crawl our way to town. I am so overweight right now, though. It's not even funny. I don't think I even need an iron axe, really. But these go for so much money. I don't need it. Well, I could get rid of steel shield at least. That's 30 silver that I just tore apart into metal scraps, but... Ayo, you do what you have to do sometimes, you know. Race bandits? Dead bandits always here. Okay. Don't really need the torch, though. We're going to walk our way back home. Y'all saw where the ferry was last time. It will not take us very long to get there. So, short of the game, pulling a funny and spawning more bandits or dinosaurs in my right over there in that other island across this bridge. I think it's a shoe in. This is a very successful dungeon raid in the end. We might do some more dinosaur hunting. I'm not sure yet. No, oh wait. I said I already said I was going to go visit the giant village, didn't I? So yeah, we'll do that next. Hopefully we'll be able to get there without getting myself killed again. Y'all will notice a recurring a recurring uh a recurring theme. Lols gets himself killed through sheer curiosity. It's amazing that I didn't manage to do that all that often in the- I didn't manage to get myself killed in this tray game all that much because, you know, Curiosity killed the cat. I don't 
think you could, didn't know you could go up there actually. I should visit that next. And go over there too. Old windmill. Vigil pylon. City of the Giants Village. Ah! <gasps> Mr. Flowers, thank you so much for the raid. How are y'all doing today? They're doing tonight, I should say. Thank you for the party of seven. Let us shout you out really quick. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Lost Time Show. With your host, Lawler Hick, Shitposter AI. Playing ourselves a nice game of Outward here. You call us a great time. We are just kind of, we just came back from looting the absolute shit out of a dungeon. We're heading back to town to sell some stuff, to craft some more items, to go out and bully the shit out of more dinosaurs. <laughs> Thank you for coming to hang out. How is everyone doing today? I am a shit poster AI. I'm a variety VTuber. On Wednesdays, I play games of Outward. Outward is an indie open world survival RPG. It's very hard, very immersive, very strange. It has a lot in common, I would say, fantasy-wise, more with um, um, more a way of kings than Lord of the Rings. Oh yes, very hard. I like to describe Outward like this: take one part Skyrim, give it a better combat system, install a fuck ton of immersive mods, survival mods. Temperature mods, 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 and give it fewer bugs, and voila, that's that's outward. Also, it's in third. Yeah, no, that's that's outward. <laughs> so they heard you like mods, indeed. And I describe it like that because when I first played Skyrim, I played for an hour, and then I got immediately got stuck on a fucking piece on a bandit camp because I got stuck in this um part that softlocked me, that kept me from escaping, and at that point I just modded the shit out of it ever since, and I installed a bunch of mods which make nighttime actually dangerous and hard to see, mods that require you, that make you susceptible to the cold and heat, and also mods which make the combat more difficult. That's all this game pretty much is. <laughs> it's very lovely. I would be doomed. You can't play games that are super hard. Oh, fair enough. It's not for everyone, for sure. Yeah, boy. We're gonna sell most of the stuff. I'll actually... Should I keep... I don't really use that many two-handed weapons. The only two-handed weapons I use are claymores. So there's not really much point to me keeping the Palladium Great Axe. This is a rust... Looks like a rusted piece of shit. But it's a it's my rusted piece of shit. I will not be selling this. This brutal spear. I've actually not used spears at all this game, but don't really need them either. Um This big ass club. Don't really use clubs either, so I'm gonna sell that too. Huh? Hikaru-chan, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome once again to the Lost Time Show. You are now officially a lully. We stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. We stream on Mondays starting at 8 in the morning. Sometimes I do art streams. Sometimes, most of the time, I play Guilty Gear Strive because I'm also an avid fighting game player. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate that. Yes, you get to head pat me. Uh, please, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I would like to say that I am using a, t a PNG tuber avatar right now, which means majority, the majority of my redeems do not work in this form. I'll show you all later tonight what my 3D form looks like after the stream is over. But uh, so please, please saw save your channel point redeems for a later stream, like say Friday or Saturday, and I'll show you the true power of Vroid. But until, but I do, th but thank you th very much for your enthusiasm. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, for now, though, I think I will probably want to do later is integrate, uh, 
integrate the tits program and use that on my PNG tuber days so people can throw stuff at me, but that takes a lot of extra work. I sell a lot of extra setup, so that's a future thing. In the Is meanwhile, something you need. Rue even. I can type. Silly Rue. <laughs> Aw. So you prefer to be called Rue then? I already know these, so we could sell those. Some people struggle to say Hikaru, so sometimes they use that. Oh, don't worry, I, I'm, I have some experience of pronouncing names, but do let me know if you prefer your name to be pronounced in a different manner. <laughs> oh, I yo, okay, this is how you make discipline potions. Livy Weed and Ochre Spice Beetles. Uh, Mist Potion. What does Mist Potion do? Makes me. Makes it easier for me to kill ghosties. Based. I wonder how much those sell for. Livy Weeds for making more disciplined potions. Very, very useful. And what do I need to use to make some sandwiches? Some. some, some bread? Do I have bread? I do have some bread. I wonder how you make bread in this game anyway. Alpha sandwich. Meat stew. Bitter spicy tea. Thank you for saying correctly as well. Tea, tea. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I kind of pride myself on being able to pronounce most names, so. Oh, trip wires. Need more trip wires. I just found a real. I need to sell all this junk. Need to refill up with some water. I have three sandwiches now, chat. Three sandwiches. Oh. Let's have the blacksmith give me a decent deal now, shall we? In retrospect, it makes sense that the Palladian, the, the town of of Monsoon, creates anti creates electricity based what weapons. Can I do for you? This electricity is super effective against horrors. Want to buy something? And I have a lot of Palladium scraps sitting around. I just need to go get them. They're in different cities scattered across the game right now, in my various bags that I've left all over the place. What can I do for you? What can you do for you? Gold Lich Mace, Gold Lich Shield, Gold Lich Spear, Scaled Satchel, Scaled, scaled this, Phytosaur Spear, Gold Lich Sword, Sp Spike Palladiums, Tripwires, Tyrannosaur Axes. Because, so, I haven't been using axes at all this, great axes at all this game, and I, the only two-handed weapons I've been using have been Claymores. This is, I'm just trying to tell my, I'm just trying to convince myself to sell this beautiful weapon for 300 silver. At least I know where to get it again if I ever feel the need to. Oh my goodness, they sell a Palladium Axe here for 800. I'm tempted, chat. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be great against fighting the horrors. Because I always have a hard time fighting those damn things. Let me tell you. The pad helm did me well, but I no longer need the pad helm, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. I already have a nice set of Pathfinder armor, so I don't need that. I already got an Ash Filter mask, don't need that. Am I going to clean this guy out of his money? Maybe not. Don't really need any of these Predator bones right now, because I already used those up. I would like to make some scaled sets, but the problem is you need leather pieces to do that and I don't have any on hand. When I head back to Enmerkle Forest there'll be plenty of deer to kill to skin for leather so I could do it then I guess. Hmm.
I'm really... I don't want to sell my ash stuff. I want to keep a set of this somewhere, in case I need them later. I could sell the iron axes, probably. Uh, they pay so little for this that I'm just going to tear this apart for parts. I want to hang out more, but I do have to get some sleep. I look forward to seeing more of your content in the future. Oh, thank you so much, Akaro. Really appreciate that. Once again, I will stream again this coming Friday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you so much for visiting, and have a good night. If that's too late, I do stream at 8 in the morning Central Standard Time on Saturday. But once again, thank you for stopping by, and thank you for the follow and for reading with Mr. Flowers. And have a good one. <laughs> also, Chad, let me know if I'm talking too fast. <laughs> but what the hell did I just do? Should I keep the brood? I don't need... I, I don't need these. I'll sell them. I'm really tempted to just keep this Palladium Breed Axe now for myself. Huh. Eh, I'll keep it. Fuck it. It'll be a pain in the ass to find out again anyway. Thank you for redeeming the hydrate. I'm talking a lot really fast right now, aren't I? Hydration has been redeemed and hydration has been done. Much, much of thank you. Chat, should I buy the Palladium X? Because I typically... I prefer to craft my weapons in this game rather than buy them. And I'm fairly sure this axe is an endgame axe, because it does 39 damage. <laughs> 10 of which is poison and 29 of which is regular damage. What could I do for you? But this one does 20... What? Alright. What could I do for you? So my current weapon does 39 damage, 29 basic and um, t uh, 29 slashing, 10 poison. This one does 29 damage, 22 slashing, 7 electrical. So, and the impact, yeah, no, actually, never mind. <laughs> I've been doing okay against the horrors with my current, with um, my new, a new axe anyway. Let's buy some food. Can I help you? Can I help you? He sells bread for eight. Fairly heavy. If I... The miasma pod may be food, but you can also use this to make a weapon. If I have the proper materials. Which I don't. This would be great to make. A Tyrannosaur Axe. But I'm fairly sure this is a two-handed weapon. It also doesn't do much in the... Actually, it does fair, fair amounts of damage, 32, but it's fairly slow, too. The Thorny Claimer would be fun to use. It does 16 slashing, 16 whatever this is. This might be DK damage, which would be wild. Fucking wild. In fact, I can actually craft this. I can buy an Iron Claymore for cheap. And I could get a Palladium Scrap back in uh, Enmercore. So I could totally craft this and use this as my... Claymore of choice. In order to make this, I would need to have hide to make a primitive satchel. So I'm sad, but I can't make any of these scaled armors, which is if you wear these things, they give you more damage bonus. So you do more damage when you fight with these things on. Don't need a quarter staff. Fight us or a spear. Requires a fishing harpoon and a fire horn. I have yet to find... Get any of these, though. I think we will do a little bit of hunting before we leave town. It's still fairly early, fairly early in tonight's stream. So we got time to kill. We 
can make an assassin sword now, so we're gonna do that when we get back home. That gives you about 23 damage there, uh, six poison, fairly fast as well. I got some decent silver here, so I think I want to, what I want to also do, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy all the rest of the recipes so that if they come up, I can craft them. What can I do for you? So what do we got here? Gold Lich Shield, Mace... Eh, actually, maybe I don't even want to get these right now. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem. I'll have to leave, but before I do, make sure you remember you're all cute. Oh, thank you, Seal. You're cute as well. Thank you for stopping by today. Hope you have a great rest of your night. How can I help you? Did I sell my brutal axe to the merchant? Is that why this is here? I have to remember doing that. Hmm. Well, at any rate. Give me the rest of your ingots, please. So I don't need to be carrying as much loose change around with me. Food's been con consumed. Alright, chat. I need to decide. I really do need to decide, like, what I'm going to do about this skill, about the uh, class situation. I need to decide decisively, like. What else am I going to specialize in? Because you always need to learn more, do more, be more in this game. Otherwise, you'll eventually run into a wall. And you'll be like, how, how do I into kill? And it will be it will be sucky, let me tell you. This game is not based around leveling. There's not as grinding is not the same as other games. In this game, you get stronger by getting newer equipment and more skills and learning more skills. You don't really level in this game. So you can be forever killed by anything any of the basic enemies just as easily as you can by a harder enemy. Well, not as easily. Some will literally just one-shot you, but, you know. Yeah, 32 damage trait on that one. But this one is 39. <laughs> 29 and that is poison. Obviously, this means it's not going to work very well against poison-resistant enemies. Hard enemy? Yeah, that's right. A hard enemy. Anyway, what are we going to sell here? I'm going to bring the 30 cartilage home. Gold ingots. Occult remains. I have so much stuff to bring home to the, to Enmerker Forest. I wish there was a quicker way to get there, but there really isn't. Oh, now I know what I need to do. Let's go see if the uh, shopkeeper here will give me any quests. How can I help you? You have my thanks. So not yet. It needs to be. It needs to. There's some cooldown there. Let's talk to the alchemist. See if he has any work for me. I wonder if I can interrogate the Sorborians about their involvement. Is there something you need? So Lane has no work for me either, it seems.
These are really nice robes. For a magic user. Can I talk to... Is there more people to talk to in this game? I really wish I could talk to this guy up here. But he's a preacher, I think. Let's talk to the Sorborian. Greetings, friend. Nothing in particular. Well, my friend. Greetings, friend. What do you got for sale? A basic pistol, a palladium shield. Wow. That is a sexy-looking shield. Not gonna lie. Depicting the sun, this shield is praised for its high durability. It's fairly heavy too, at seven pounds. Some poutine as well. Of the northern tribes of the Canadians. Canadians in the chat, Pog. Oh. Well, I feel dumb. He sells hide. Thanks, game. I totally didn't need hide just now. Alright. So, what are we crafting for his chat? I guess I could only really craft a satchel, though. Did I sell a home? I sold a home my scaled armor shit. So I'll have to buy it back. Damn it. I was so quick to sell my scaled arm, my scales, that. How can I? Oh, for you? fuck's sake! What could I do for you? No, I can't buy any of it back. I don't think. All right, you know what? That's it. We are, in fact, going to go dinosaur hunting tonight, chat. Can I help you? I need to bully more dinosaurs so I can gather their ingredients to make more cool stuff. Do I know how to make savage stew already? Can you teach me how to make savage stew? You taught me how to make bread of the wild. That's not, that's not a joke. It's literally called bread of the wild. You know that the developers knew what they were doing when they wrote, when they named it that. Marshmallow jelly as well. This is really good, actually. It is nighttime. Which. We're gonna go ahead and take a big slep in game, of course. And tomorrow we will go all Turok in this bitch. That's a game I should continue. I should probably stream also to rock the dinosaur hunter. When I complete the main quest line of this whole game, I cannot wait to go back and buy all the houses in Avery Town. Alright. Let us bring a select number of materials with us, chat. We are going to go hunting. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring some gold bars with me, though, because we're going to be visiting the Giant's Village. And since we're visiting the Giant's Village, that, of course, means that we will be... That we will be... Making some purchases, if possible, if necessary. I'm choosing to bring, use the armor bag with me this time because... It will give me some extra protection against the nasties that live out there. I'm tempted to use the Ash Armor set. The Asha Armor set, so to speak. Because it's lighter. Uses less stamina. 
But it won't protect me as well. Two armor. 20 slashing damage. This protects against 13 slashing. Definitely more of a roguish weapon than anything. Roguish armor than anything else. But it does have better defense against poison. In fact, it also, I'm going to. It might even actually make me immune to poison. It's a suspicion I have. Well, we'll try wearing them for a little bit. See what happens. I should probably sell one of these Pathfinder boots, huh? So I don't need two of them. What if weapons will Lulz bring with us this time? Um, hmm. I should probably... I could probably use the Pathfinder Claymore since I need practice using... Doing some, uh... Stabity McStab. So, we're going to let go of the Horror Axe for now. And the Shield. We're going to... Uh, put our new... Use our new... Claymore. A bit. I will, of course, be bringing the uh, bow with me. So we're going to be carrying a lot of these with us, chat. I am I am not, I'm no longer above just cheesing the shit out of people with arrows because once again in this game, this game is fucking, it's just merciless. If you are not, if you do not abuse the game's mechanics, the game's mechanics will abuse you. Do I have any more endurance push? No? Okay. Bring at least one thing of water. Always have to bring some of these elementals. Don't need that many though. Three will do. A little bit of tea. Am I out of bandages? Do I need to make do I need to make more bandages? Bring some alpha sandwiches with me as well. I'll just uh, take two of them. Use this as a last resort. I don't have enough uh, beetles with which to. Don't have enough. Beetles with which to craft some health life potions. Gonna carry these with me. And also the silver. Always need bullets, but I don't use guns that much, so we only need 12 bullets with us. I'm gonna make some trip wires. Oh dear, I'm already filled up here. Hey! I did keep some scaled leather after all. Never mind. All right, so let's really quickly craft us a scaled satchel. What's this thing look like? Huh, that's kind of cool. Only has 60 capacity, but it's very cool. A new satchel for my collection. Five in the morning. The perfect time for hunting. What else do we need with us? Uh, let's go ahead and eat some breakfast chat. Get some delicious meat stews to start our day. Gonna pack ourselves up. We got some lunches here. We got some alpha sandwiches and the bread of the wild for lunch. Bring all our trip wires with us too. Don't need these. Let's do some crafting. I apparently need bandages. So there we go. Bandages have been made. Wait, what the fuck did I just do? What the fuck did I just do? Put that back there. 
We're going to keep our good weapons here. We're going to be practicing our skills with the blade. In particular, the two-handed blade. Or we might just cheese people. But I'm, I'm not against doing both. This thing weighs six pounds. Yeah, we'll go without it. Now then, now that's all set, let's go ahead and select our skills. Gonna have to use spring. We're gonna have to, uh... Hmm. Assign to a quick slot. We're gonna be assigning and be making use of our Pathfinder Claymore. Assign the quick slot. We are going to be assigning bow and arrow. Assign here. We're going to be assigning a skill. We're going to be assigning... Hmm. Flash onslaught? Nah. We need to put a counter here. Pommel counter works. So I quick slot the uh, assign a another counter here. This blocks an attack. Brace. I really need more two-handed weapon skills. I wonder if there are any in this game. Or any more in this game. Mana Ward's also pretty cool. It makes you immune to damage for an instant. So it'd probably be fun to experiment with that. However, instead I'm going to use, put Flash Onslaught in Section 1. Um, hmm. Actually, no. We'll make that Section 1. We'll make this another counter. Gonna keep the gun skills over here for gun fu as a last resort, basically. And with that, I think I'm ready to go out there and do some dinosaur hunting chat. Just to save up a little bit more room, we're gonna go stop by shopkeeper really quick to buy another gold bar. Is there something you need? Check our stuff one more time. Drink some water. That's a uh, maybe too many antidotes. I don't need ten antidotes. I'll keep as many discipline and potions as I can hold, though. I can't believe I'm finally out of bandages after all this time. Do I even want to use fire stones? That'd be interesting. I really wish I had the warm boot. I had a spell that can let me use warm. Okay. All right. Now, last but not least, let's go ahead and sell this extra Pathfinder Pathfinder shoes. Let me make sure I'm not gonna sell my only. Okay, I'm not. Bro. That's such sexy armor. Look at that. You need to be a follower of the holy mission to use it, though. What can I do for you? Thank you. Dinosaur Great Axe. Hmm. Gives extreme bleeding. I really do wonder if I should invest in making a Tyrannosaur Axe. Extreme bleeding, as the name implies, is pretty extreme. Uh, 
Oh, I need an Alpha Tyrannosaurus, not just a regular one. That would be such a pain in the ass to find and kill. Okay. Drink some water before we go. Always need to bring flint and tinder with me, chap. I always forget that. Cannot forget the flint and tinder. Those of you who've been watching these streams since the beginning, you know what happens when I forget to bring something like Flint and Tinder. What kind of Boy Scout am I supposed to be? Or Girl Scout? Or non-binary non scout? Non-scout? Something like that. Alright. It is time. I keep saying this, but I am for sure for sure it is time. It is time to go hunting. Man. But I will not only be hunting dinosaurs, chat, no. Bandits are also my prey. And also the occasional giant. And yes, you can fight giants, they're quite scary in this game, but they have so much good loot. So much prestige to killing something that can just swap me out of the air. Yeah, this really is just Skyrim with lava mods, isn't it? Mm. We should also probably not abuse sprint so much because that's what's killing my fatigue gauge. Oh ho ho! Our first victim. Be very, very quiet. I am hunting dinosaurs. Is it just me or does he look a little bit more scaly than usual? Oh fuck, he put extreme bleeding on me. I need to heal. Oh my godness. Oh shit. Well, I still killed him. That's all that matters. I really need... I actually, you know what? I really need... Man, I really need bandages. <laughs> I'm gonna go through these bandages like nobody's business. God, I hope we can find some. It's a good thing I brought some life potions with me, too. I don't really need any life potions just yet, but I might in the near future. Oh, hey, marshmallows. I'm gonna go in this direction towards the giant's village. There are many dinosaurs in this general direction, so... I'm sure we will find prey, suitable prey for us fairly soon. I have two counter attacks, brace and also pommel counter. Very useful when running a build like this. Thankfully, it looks like my sword does significant damage. What is up here, I wonder? Ayo. A dead body. An adventurous corpse. He's got a fishing harpoon, some live weedy, some food, which immediately heals wounds, gravel beetles, and fishing harpoon. Very useful. This will save me the trouble of having to purchase a fishing harpoon if I do manage to get a, find a phytosaur. 
I need to remember to stop using the sprint command so the sprint button so much. Let's go up here, chat. Let's see what there's to, there is to find. You know what? I didn't even get that much sleep last night, so I'm surprised I'm as active as I am right now. Must be because I passed out right after work again. Mm -hmm. Ah, greasy ferns. Could always use some greasy ferns for crafting materials. Let's just go back some godberries for a snack. We're still well rested. This is actually a safe zone. So if I had a sleeping bag, I could just go to bed up here. Or the niece here in Stonehenge. Huh? Sorrow and pain and a sense of duty linger around this altar. Interesting. What do they mean by this? Hmm. Anything else to harvest around here? No? Alright. Interesting. Was this always here? Is there a way to get down? It looks like there might have been a elevator here at one point too. I guess it's just a nice location to look at. I wonder if there's a dungeon over there. I haven't checked in a bit. I don't think I've read any lore pieces yet that explain just what these giant crystal towers are for. The game is a great example of showing that it does a lot of showing instead of telling. Which I really appreciate because that's very uncommon in game design. A lot of games really try too hard to spell shit out for you and it gets really annoying. We might actually go a little, a little bit later tonight, chat. Because technically I got only about half an hour of stream left and I'm not very tired at all. I will probably need to quit to do my dailies in Girls Frontline since a new event just started up. But we still got time. Big flowers. Sure is lonely over here in this particular tower. I just heard someone drawing a knife or a sword. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're up there. As always, we kill the mage first. Nope. Get you baited. The eye pathing is taking a while, but at least one of them has managed to figure out how to get upstairs. Ah, get pommel strike, bitch! Or you can just fall to your death, I guess. That works too. Or no, he didn't fall to his death, but. He probably took some damage, and he is still confused. As in, he has the confusion. The little confusion uh, debuff right now. He can still dodge, though. Fine. Now you're dead. Thank you, come again. Thanks for the free shit. What else you got here? Some food? I've been meaning, I've been needing a snack. Nom 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 nom. Um, nom 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 Where's the mage? There was a mage here. Oh, shit. Let's 
soon there will what there will be was a mage here. That was terrible English. I'm a terrible English major. Ha, you missed. Looks like he's trying to do scorpion tactics to avoid getting hit by my arrows. I don't know if that's just the pathing bugging out or if the game actually taught them to do that to avoid my missiles. Unfortunately, you were not just not quite good enough to avoid me. Your soul is mine. Thanks to the cold re thanks to the uh, cold stone, I can also cast some Cold base spells, if need be. I should probably make some. make a fire later to recover some stamina. Resisting the urge to sprint around so that I don't burn up all my stamina. chest what's in here uh, a crappy shield a hex cleaner these are all very useful items actually hey why aren't you gonna let me tear apart my shield that shield I just got oh that's why Thank you. Do, 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 do. So far, our expedition has gone fairly well. Let us continue our journey towards the giant village. Killing and looting everything in our wake. Getting a little bit better at using my skills and fighting with two hand weapons as well. With this rusted piece of garbage. Well, I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. It may be rusted and it may look like a low tier level one weapon, but it cuts like a motherfucker. I feel like I'm wielding a literal, like a like a uh, weapon that's against the Geneva Conventions. It's so nasty. Huh. A supply cache. With some bandages and some tripwires. Could not have come at a better time. What time is it in game? It's only one in the afternoon. Giant's Village is over there. Oh, ho, ho, chat. This is what I was looking for. This buddy. Now, it's kind of a crapshoot still if it will drop the materials that I need, but it's always a tr we always need to try. I guess this is the part of the game that gets kind of grindy. Having to wait for these animals to spawn so you can murder them and take their body parts. But, you know, the game doesn't really feel like a grind. I'm the kind of person that's really sensitive to grindy games. Yes, that's right. I have a grindy games allergy. But. If you enjoy the grind, you won't need to work a day. You won't need to grind at all. How else are people able to play War Farm for 5,000 hours? I would never be able to do that. I believe these things also do poison damage. So. Uh, 
I'm wearing so a lot of anti-poison armor. Let's go ahead and use our use our boons, our buffs. Lightning dam or lightning resistance as well. Okay, let's do a chat. Yep, hit. He definitely has poisonous spores. Actually, you know what? We're doing so much damage to this dinosaur right now. I don't. Well, that was very anticlimactic. A lot of preparation in this game does make the game just that much easier. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I needed. Now, I can make a Phytosaur Spear. All our preparation. Did good, chat. Sure, it's anticlimactic, but I feel like in this game, it's better to be anticlimactic than to be dead. Arrow is way up. Please nerf. If I decide to go ahead and become a take the hunter class tree, I'm gonna be even more op as a huntsman than I currently am. Or huntswoman, or hunts person. These things aren't even naturally hostile. Most of the time. If I'm lucky, my buffs will still be running by the time we find another enemy monster or dinosaur to fight or a bandit. You know, I just remembered I forgot to bring a pickaxe with me so I can mine some stuff. Rip. Another supply cache. Oh, and that's, uh, that's actually a cache over there as well. Open the hollow trunk. A novice hat? We can sell that, so I don't really use magic and much. Endurance potions and bitter spicy tea. Ready to drink some tea, chat. There we go. Nothing like a good old thing of spicy tea to get you through the day. Some explosives. Gawberries. Goo goo gawberries. I did not bring a cooking pot with me right now, so I cannot th turn these gawberries into something useful at the moment. The last time I was here, there were two dinos that were roaming this area. They seem to have vanished, though. They're not here this time, I guess. The Giants Village is... Oh, wait, no. There's two... I see some horrors. Alright. Still afternoon. We should be able to make the Giants Village in time, but we do need to... Oh, it's not a horror. Never mind. Those are just, uh... Those are some fireflies. At first, I thought the fireflies were friendly. Then I realized they wouldn't leave, and they also... L reveal you to enemies. So, it's a trade-off. It makes it easier to see at night, but they also reveal you to enemies. If you want to get rid of these, though, I found out how to deal with that. Right over there. Let me bring and show you what happens. It's kind of gross, but you'd love to see it.
Tada! Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Since we are already effectively at the giant city, let's go ahead and do a little bit more exploration over here on this side. Is this my famous last words? Am I going to get myself killed? Oh, marshmallows. Consume the marshmallows. They have a lot of stamina. They're very, very, very good for you. Very nutritious, but very heavy. Going to pick up some liver weeds really quick. Since these are also very useful. I also go also sell for quite a lot back in town. Since I neglected to bring my pickaxe, I can no I can't mine this salt crystal. But we got plenty of salt anyway. More Libby Wee's over there. So, there are giant ruins over there. I actually never noticed that. The Ziggurat Passage. I wonder if this goes to... This one over here. Let's find out. I think that you need to complete one of these dungeons to open this thing up. Because I can't enter the Spire of Light and go to Enver use the shortcut to Enmerkle Forest without it. There's no traps on the ground here, are there? You know, the un... the, uh... not cute kind. Nope. I think I've been to this particular building before and didn't find anything of value. But we'll go ahead and check it again just to make sure. Melons. Always useful. There's no obvious way to enter this building that I can remember. Turnips. You either use these to make mana potions or to make a turnip pottage. Or you can eat these directly. They do not reveal, do not return burnt mana. You would need a potion for that, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no obvious way inside here. I'd be very interested to know if there is a way in there, in fact. I feel like I've been to this. Have I been here before? I think I have, because I remember crossing that bridge. And I don't actually remember what's inside there. I think that's actually a safe zone. And I didn't bring a sleeping bag with me, so we can't test out that theory. But I don't think going over there will take very long at all, especially if I sprint. Wearing the ash armor is not that bad, as long as you don't get hit. Just don't get hit, forehead. I find it fairly ironic that I've not run into many bandits since coming here. But there is a giant there. From this distance, we should be able to make preparations to kill him with very little effort. 
if we set up my traps over here. That's the first giant I've seen in today's session. They don't spawn that often. So it's reasonable to assume that this might be the only giant in this area that we'll see. Hostile giant now, or rather, if not hostile giant, then at least a killable giant. I think the idea behind why these giants are killable is because most giants, like, don't really leave their homes unless they're outcasts or something. Some lore thing like that. Really wish I had some pressure plates with me. Alright. Oh, fucking hell. Are my arrows even hitting him? I can't tell. I mean, I got a lot of arrows, so I'm not exactly spoiled for... Alright. Uh, let's get a little bit closer then. I think he sees me. Oh, yeah, he, he totally sees me now. Yeah, um... Uh, shit. Um... Which one of these do I use? Poison, maybe? Yeah, this one can actually kill me fairly easy if I'm not careful. Did he just in uh I think he just walked past all of my Ha, ah, staggered you. Oh man. This absolute swings on this guy. You know, it's something I noticed about games like this. You don't never really understand just how difficult a fight is. Unless you were actually playing. This was actually stup this is actually a stupidly difficult fight. To give you an idea, one of those swings would have killed me in one in like two hits. I only won because he went through all of, or they went through all of my traps, and I buffed myself twice. And I was also using a decent, wait, what? And I was using decent weapon, or decent uh, materials and weapons. You're not gonna let me pick up. I can't pick up the halberd. Usually, I'm able to pick up the halberd. Ah. Okay. It's not going to let me pick up the halberd chat. This thing is really expensive. Goes for a lot of money. Does a lot of damage. Sneak 100. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. He saw... They saw me eventually. Alright, let's keep going this direction. See what there is to see. And then we'll head back to the giant's village. Hmm, there's a smush tent here. Wonder why. Guess there's an unlucky adventurer around here, some parts. Let's go ahead and go inside that uh, building over there really quick. Take a breather. I'll use the restroom and then we'll continue where we left off. Huh, chat? Oh, it's a palladium mine. Why did I forget to bring a pickaxe? Mm. Actually, I think that there is a hidden door in there that you need to open using gemstones. If so... We might do that tonight, chat. We might go back to town, 
repurchase the gemstones that I sold and use them to open this building. Let's see how much poison resistance I have now using this ash equipment. Okay, so it's not... It is not a uh, perfect poison resistance. But it is some. Under Island. Is that what this thing is called? The Under Island? Hmm. Okay, I've definitely been here before, and... Oh, I remember this now. Yeah, so I need Hecamanite. Looks like I only need one, though. No, uh, okay. Tiny Aquamarine. Medium Ruby. Medium Ruby. Large Emerald. So I need a Large Emerald. Medium Ruby. Hackamanite. There's already a tw Tiny Aquamarine in there. And another Tiny Aquamarine. Okay. Looks like there's some decent loot, but... These trogs, man, I don't know. They're way different from any I've seen before. Yeah, definitely go from up there and then you escape this way. There's a decent number of them, but nothing a few traps can't fix. Lots of bones here as well. Alright. I'll be right back, chat. Gonna go ahead and use the restroom again, and we will continue from here. And we're back. <laughs> Thank you very much for the wiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Mm -hmm. Alright. So then bring a sleeping bag with me. We're just gonna go ahead and make our way to the giant's village directly.
Looks like it only gives me two poison this time instead of three. So at least we know the antidotes are working. Rearranging my glasses and headset. Let us head to the giant village ship. We'll go ahead and sprint there since we're going to be taking a big slap there anyway. Every time I see mineables, I just think to myself, God damn it, why did I leave my pickaxe? Looks like the giant respawned. Unfortunately, it respawned with its halberd facing up. Some uh, dead wood, if you, per if you prefer. Actually, you know what? I'm wondering if the giant's... That building goes inside... Is connected to that building. This game's always pretty at night, but it's fairly pretty tonight. In particular. Oh! The music changed. Bandits! They caught me unawares. This could be a very difficult chat. Once more, we must kill the ice witch, the ice bitch. I'm low in stamina, but we do have endurance potions. Gonna run a little bit further. We need to cast need to cast some buff spells or you know Ow fuck You son of a bitch Thanks for the discipline buff bitch one second Alright then Where are you? Where is the ice lady? Come on Where are you? Thank you for throwing something at my face, Baka. Unfortunately, I'm not using my 3D avatar right now, so it did not activate, but I appreciate the thought. Oh, hello. That's right. Oh, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So satisfying when you get used to the gameplay loop with this game. How are you doing tonight? And that's the end of that. Mm -hmm. They caught me unawares, but I caught them unlived. Unfortunately, I'm out of electrical uh, rags, so I need to learn how to make those later. Man, ever since I learned how to cast spells in this game, it really has been a little bit easier. Could have also just shot them. Doing good. Just figuring some stuff out right now. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> I'm doing I'm glad that you're doing well. I really wish I had more two handed weapon spells though, or your abilities. I also really need a warm boon, so I can keep myself warm. Instead of just eating Breath of the Wilds. Still though, did you see the amount of damage that thing did? Yeah, I'm not talking about the emotional damage. Emotional damage! Freaking just hits me in the head with a axe. Nearly knocked me out cold.
Can I just say I really like the design? Who goes there? Another raid by Millie, no less. Millie, thank you so much for the raid tonight. How you doing? Welcome, raiders. You picked a pretty good time to raid, too, because I decided to go a little bit later tonight than usual. Usually I stop around this time. But we're doing pretty well, and I'm pretty wide awake at the moment. So we're going to be doing a little bit more dinosaur hunting, bandit bullying, you know, crazy shit like that. Oh, it's doing pretty well, actually. I just finished looting a major dungeon, got some, crafted some new gear, testing out, trying to relearn how to do use two-handed weapons, and I'm trying out this new sword I got. And, um, dinosaur hunting. <laughs> Lots of dinosaur hunting tonight. How was your stream? What were you playing? Hello, my friend. Ooh. Oh. They sell armor also. Fairly hard to use armor. This drops your movement speed and to nothing. But it looks pretty heavy. I mean, 26... Damage resistance got there, a bunch of armor resistance there, a lot of impact resistance. Also makes it harder to wear in the desert. Giant can halberd them. It was good. We played some Pokemon Unite and then y Yuki of Shibian shoot him up. A visual novel shoot him up, huh? That's very interesting. I never heard of that kind of mix of a, that kind of combination before, but I'm sure it's great. Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm probably going to finish one of the quests that involves going back to the forest section to warn them of impending attack. But beyond that, we're just, uh, I'm doing so. I took some time off to do some dinosaur hunting and it's been going quite fun. It's been quite fun. <laughs> I could actually afford to buy this now, you know, but I don't, I don't want to use up my, I don't, I don't really feel like using up my stuff. I'm gonna sell you the steel shield though, and uh, I don't really need the novice hat. I'm sorry to say. I had used magic enough to require that. Um, is there any other garbage I can sell to you at rock bottom prices? I need the phytosaur horn, so I'll keep that. Nah. No, okay, I'll sell you that too. <laughs> So that's what the game you were talking about. Gonna Google it now. A VN shoot 'em up though. I'll look it up too. That sounds like a fun time. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. What else can I? Who else can I talk to? I forgot. It's been a while since I've been here. Does this person sell food? No. I really wish that I could buy food from this person. These marsh marshmallows are actually fairly large, so. It makes sense why they take up so much space in your inventory. Got some animal parts here as well. Open the junk pile. Dark rich attire. Some food. We're going to eat that later before we leave chat. We got a... Uh, Buddhist temple here. Worshipped by the giants. The giants are actually Buddhists. I wonder if this is part of a quest or something. A marshmallow tartine recipe booklet. I already know that though, so I'm going to sell that for some money. Ayo, Christian, how are you doing tonight? I'm still streaming. I tend to go a little bit later on out on Wednesdays because of Outward. This is kind of game that I feel like you need to stream a long period of time to get a, to do a lot more things with it. How are you doing tonight? For those of you who followed from Milliard's Raid who don't know who I am, I'm Luller Hicks. I'm a shitposter AI. An AI much like uh, Millie. And I am actually a variety streamer. I do a variety of number of things. On Wednesdays, I typically play Outward. Fridays, I've been playing DSX lately. And Saturday mornings, I play Guilty Gear Strive now. 
I also take some time off to do some art streams then. A terrible? I'm sorry to hear. Why are you doing terrible, if, you, if I may ask? A human in my village? What you want? You listen, human. Off with you. A human, you say. Speak only to Gold Belly, huh? Um, I'm doing great. That's why I'm still streaming. For some re which is weird too, besides I didn't sleep very well. But I'm very awake and I'm here. The day's been going okay-ish so far, otherwise. <laughs> Goldbelly wants me to bring him stuff from the desert city. Hmm. Hello, my friend. I wonder if that makes me more uh, if he will like me better since I am from he thinks I'm from the desert city. Stone flesh elixir. That's fairly useful too, I bet. Warrior elixir. Since I have a decent amount of gold, I might as well go ahead and purchase some of these things from him. I need to learn how to make those anyway. So, read. Read. Thank you. Hello, my friend. I'm going to sell you my excess uh, things there because I don't need those anymore. Your stream crashed? all. Jeez, these guys are tall. They're twice your size. Yeah, that's because they're actually giants. Like, giant giants. Oh, I'm sorry that your stream crashed, though. That always sucks. And you know I've had a bad experience with that, too. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Got some gold back from my transaction. Hello, my friend. Do I want to learn how to make nerve gas and charge gas anyway? A poison varnish even? I probably will learn poison varnish later. It's also kind of expensive. Teach me how to make nerve gas. Teach me how to do war crimes, giant friend. And in return, I will sell you... I'm going to sell you some firefly powder. How's that sound? How about them apples? I now how to make know how to make uh, weapons against the Geneva Convention chat. Hello, my friend. <laughs> kind of laugh was that? That's kind of spooky. Very spooky. Too spooky for me. No, damn it. I didn't want to do that. I just wasted one of my cold spells. Damn it. You're only in sound mode? Uh, actually, you know what? I just realized I could probably make my own... Well, we'll make some fire rags. Why can't I make a cold... A cold rag, too? I should be able to just do this, right? Invalid combination. Invalid combination. Invalid combination. Really? What else do I need to do to make a cold? Damn it. So, okay, I can't make cold rags apparently. That way. How do you make cold rags? Ice rags. Seaweed? Okay. Alright. I guess I need seaweed. What were you talking about? Yeah, my met in there. I'm sorry to hear that. Why was it bad, if I may ask? Hmm. 
No one else wants to talk to me for whatever reason. Ooh. That's cool. Also, I needed a cooking pot. Oh, yeah. I'm bitching now. I have this awesome hat. I fail. You fail the test, so that always sucks. I'm sorry that you fail the test. Hmm. Hopefully, you'll be able to recover from that, right? Iron vein. This person refuses to talk to me too, huh? No one likes talking to the human. I wonder why they just let me casually loot the shit out of their home. I guess there's not much here of interest, so it's not that important that I loot their place, but still, it is kind of an oversight on the dev's part, I guess. Can I buy a pickaxe from... I'm surprised you can't just build a pickaxe. And I went... And I went, I builded and wired my new desk top. My PC didn't want to turn on. Oh, oof. Did you figure out what was wrong going on, what was wrong there, or...? Hello, my friend. It could be a memory issue. Just make sure the RAM is, uh... Is uh, seated properly, but it's not always that easy. Hello, my friend. You don't sell pickaxes either. Hmm. Fine. Where's the tree that I saw here earlier? And I'll sell this dark rich attire to he back to you. Oh, I see. Well, I hope you're able to figure that out friend. in a timely manner. Hopefully, I, hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Can do do a little clear cutting. Which is good because I have some cooking that needs to be done. It just took two hours to probably power drain. Uh, how about me in? What do you mean by what do you? Or how about me? What do you mean by that? How about what? You mean how long it took me to build my first computer? <laughs> At last, some marshmallow jelly. Took me a while to make the one of those. Oh, I could have made. Oh, okay, we're not going to make that then. <laughs> What do you, what are you referring to when but what are what are you referring to by how about you? Oh yeah, I always forgot. How's the other work? 
You mean my other job? It's been okay. Um, my day, my department is kind of desperate to keep people employed. So they started circulating this retention contract where they'll pay me $750 up front and $750 a year from now if I stick with the company. But there's kind of disingenuous because the way it's written, it makes you think that you have to only work for an additional year to get that, but you actually have to work an additional two years. If I have to leave or quit or get let go from the company for any reason between now and next year, or now and two years from now, I get to I have to pay back some money, that they, some of the money that they gave to me at a pro rata rate. So that's kind of a pain. I can't imagine that I'll have to I can't imagine that I'll need to quit working for this company anytime soon. So some money up front is really useful right now for me, but it was still very annoying. This is why I get really sketchy when it comes to things like, you know, contracts and whatnot, and why I'm such an asshole when it comes to reading the fine print and everything. Because I'm used to this sort of treatment by mega corporate types. That's how it is. That's how it be. Thanks for asking, though. Yeah, no kidding. I wonder if there's like a quest or something I could do for the Giants to earn their trust so that all these people can talk to me. If so, I'd be very interested in doing it. This guy over here doesn't seem very interested in talking with me, though. A human in my vi What you want? You listen. Off with you. Do they sell a sleeping bag here, Gold Belly? Hello, my friend. You don't sell a sleeping bag, so I can. Oh, you do. Very cheap, too. We're gonna go ahead and take a nice slip. And then we will head back to town. Sell some of the stuff that I got. Well, not sell, but you know. Where is my sleeping? And we are going to continue dinosaur hunting, or we're going to head back to Enrico Forest. Haven't decided yet. If they ever ask you to pay it back, ask for their proration formula. They may not be able to come up with it, and you may and not be able to charge you anyway. <laughs> It'd be cool if I can get away with something like that. Although, this is a mega corporation that we're talking about, not like a small company or anything. So, I'm fairly sure... That they probably have thought of that as well, but it's a it's worth a it's worth a, it's worth a try. Thank you, Millie. <laughs> Wait, why is my ambush at ninety percent? This is supposed to be a safe zone, I thought. Fucking a. In fact, it's actually daytime right now. I don't need to go to bed. All right. I changed my mind. We're going back home, chat. It's 7 in the morning. <laughs> Is there anything more here I could sell? I guess I don't really need the scaled armor anymore, do I? And I already used up my food to make more food. I don't really need these trader boots either. The formulas are very complicated, and if they don't know who to ask, it may be more trouble than it is to worth to dig into. Alright. You make a very good point. <laughs> I will keep this in mind. Dude. 
Someone who worked with probation formulas at my old job. Ooh, very good point. Thank you very much. I mean, I believe you, but that makes a lot more sense. Also, I totally found a well that I could drink water from. All right, then. Let us make some more tea. I don't have any more ingredients to make more tea. Never mind. But I did learn how to make nerve gas. That's horrible. Ethereal damage and pain? Wow. I really like this liverweed stuff. Dark varnish. All right, let us have ourselves a meal and we will go on our way. All right. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably stream even longer if it wasn't for the fact that I need to do my gotcha dailies. We'll probably go keep going for another half hour or so, depending on how things are go how things are going. Right now, things are going pretty swell, so. But you know how outward is, and that could always change. I'm still kind of fucked up that there's a dinosaur in a big crystal. Tell you what. We can end the stream after I successfully make it back home to Berg. Angry Berg! In fact, I don't even mind sprinting back to town right now. I think I will be bringing my sword and shield with me. My uh, axe and um, shield with me anyway, though. Which means I will definitely need to make some more room in my pack. I'm feeling a lot more confident with using two-handed style weapons. I think just like anything else in this game, it's just a matter of doing a lot of pre-preparation. Also, fighting more than one person with the two-handed weapons in this game is ass. You get surrounded too easily. I do like the fact that because it's such a large swinging arc, sometimes I will just hit people and accidentally kill them without meaning to. Because they're trying to like surround me and then they fail and die. So that's another, so just like uh, Seth said, that's another reason to use long weapons in this game. Long weapon is long. Later on, I'm definitely going to come back and explore those cigarettes. Honestly, I'm really tempted to go... Because you can't enter from here. There's a block. There's a block here. Yeah, you know what? Let's go see if we can get into the spiral light. Let's stop by home first. Or head back uh, to town really quick first. And then we'll make our way down there. I'm getting fairly confident using this build too, so... We might be okay. Emphasis on the might. Because if I try to go the other way, I'm... Fairly sure that I would need to... Go through Sirzo again. And then go down towards Enmerker instead of going to Enmerker directly.
My bow needs to be some repairs. So does my claymore. See if we cannot make us uh, some more potions. Chat. And then grab all the crimp nuts, all the Gutberry Tartine. The blood shrooms, the regular shrooms, the meats, cacti. Get some nerve gas there. Mana stones. Miner's omelet. More life potions. Wait. And now more discipline potions. An actual potion as well. Thank you, game. I could sell all my potions for a profit. I do need to keep some of these for myself, though. 13 discipline potions, though. Actually, you know what? You know what? No, no. That might be a good idea. I'm going to store some of these things for my own use. Save around half. Sell the rest. I need to keep that many mana potions either. Actually, uh, keep the mana potions. Always keep life potions on you, on your person at all times. Do I need bread? Need some bread. I need to be bread. Is there something you need? Got what I need. How much is this? Twenty four silver? Just twenty four? Can't do you can't give me a better rate than that. Master Staff has 29 damage and four to one impact with a negative twenty percent mana cost. Scholar Staff is weaker but does extra lightning damage. Mage's poking stick. Hmm, probably for stabbing people. And a very cheap check rim, but I already have a check rim, so I don't need that. That's so little silver that I don't think it's even worth it. Yeah. Fuck that noise, chat. No! Why did I push take all? Fuck. Lol study XE has crashed. Give me a second here. What do I want to do now? I got a headache from my stupidity just now. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh, right. Make craft a side, craft a fight a sword spear.
Now here's something that I modded into Skyrim that I wish was in this game. I want a way to display your weapons. So it took me a long time to make some of these things, goddammit. I want to be rewarded for my efforts. This is a terrible idea. There we go. I like how this armor is so much more form-fitting than the other ones. Give me your bread. Give me all your bread. I can have spear. 34 damage, 26 impact, and inflicts poison. Dang. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a very nice looking spear. I think they actually have... Excuse me. Spear skills training back in the desert. So that might be something to look at later. What could I do for you? Want to buy something? Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? What you got on sale here, my dude? Silver armor. This must be the armor that the people that work in this, the people that uh, protect this town wear on the regular. She's still an iron claymore too, so can't I build something with that too? Let me see here. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I do. I have a one thing of scrap and two thorny cartilages. What can I so do for you? You can sell me that cheap iron claymore there for 25 silver, and I am gonna make an awesome new weapon. You know, usually I don't spend the time to craft stuff in games like this. I'm glad that I have this time. It's very... It feels very... What's the word? It feels... Satisfying. I guess it's not as stressful to do either. Check it out. It's glowing. Whoa. It's glowing. Thirty-nine damage. Ten of which is slashing, twenty-nine of which is poison, versus thirty-two damage. Sixteen of which is like decay or something? I don't know what that is. Not as much attack speed. Not as much impact. It's also slower and it's not as durable. Bummer. The fact that this claymore is so fast 
is probably why I'm able to defend a lot easier using it. I don't have that backwards, right? It's usually... Hmm. One second. Why does this feel slower somehow? Easy way to tell. Okay, Iron Sword has one attack speed. This has one. This also has one. But the Palladium Great Axe also has one. The Prayer Claymore has 1.1. feel like the Pathfinder Claymore is slower, heavier. The Prayer Claymore is like this. 1.1. Thorny Claymore is also fairly fast. It seems like it doesn't make much difference, but in battle it makes all the difference, honestly. Yeah, they both do roughly the same damage, except the Thorny Claymore has 3d6 impact and does two different kind of damage types instead of one. That's wild. So I think it's uh, slashing, pounding, poison, cold. I don't know really what this is. I think this is just regular. I think this is just um, armor defense. It's probably a DK, is what that is. <laughs> because this is lightning and fire, and this is cold, and this is poison. I wonder why I have some malices right now to my running speed. Is it from my bag? Or is it because I'm overburdened right now? I have some decent cold and heat de defenses though. So choices, choices. I definitely like how fast this is though. I like the way it looks too, very sick. Alright chap, once more into the breach. We're gonna go spelunking! Can we pull this off in half an hour? I somehow doubt that. But... Worth a shot. Keep using the Pathfire Claymore for the rest of tonight. This time we will be bringing a pickaxe. A few extra arrows to abuse, to use and abuse people with. Our lantern. Always get to bring a bunch of these. What time is it in game? Three in the afternoon? We can work it. It 
some discipline potions. Bring about four of those. Endurance potions. All my life potions for healing. A bag of water. Don't need this. Fire rags, a cold rag, and some poison rags. All the bandages. Some tea. We're actually going to go to bed and continue our journey tomorrow when we're well rested. I need to do some repairs anyway to my equipment. We will wake up bright and early tomorrow. We're going to go investigate the ziggurat at the spire tower and possibly the ziggurat. Hopefully we end tonight on a good note. If I play my cards right and smart, it should be a shoe in Bring some sandwiches with us. Going to make some... Got some uh, marshmallow sandwiches as well. Eat one of the meats. That's actually fairly useful. Instead of bringing the antidotes with us, which are a bit heavy, we're going to bring some food with us. That's fairly expensive. This is for healing your body in case something goes wrong. Always need to have the rations with us, especially just in case uh, we end up switching locations. Bring the flint and tinder. Not really planning on leaving this area. I want to find a way if there's a way inside first. Can't use any of these incendiaries right now. Always bring a box of extra bullets. All right. Very good. Okay. Fill up with water and we'll get going, chat. Bo is looking a little dicey, but I think we'll be fine. Traps. Almost forgot to bring my traps with me. And also a pickaxe. I got the pickaxe, though. Where are all my trip wires? Did I use them up already? Hmm. And even I guess... Make some more wood. Here we go. Got some trip wires. Two of them.
Don't really need any more arrows though. Don't need all this bread either, put that away. Okay. How many traps do we have? Six? Then we will make some of those. Alright. We're finally ready, chat. Back once more into the world of Outward. I have my guns with me, right? Yep. These things are so useful. What a beautiful early morning sunrise. Three of you, we are going from here and we're going to try and get inside a spiral light, which is down there. Failing that, we're going to go enter the cigarette passage and see where that leads. If I determine, if I discover a way to get to Enmerkle Forest from here, I'm going to head back to town. Pack up the stuff I want to bring with me to Enmerkle Forest, and we'll just switch locations, chap. Looks like there's another dinosaur there to hunt. Oh yeah, it's always time for dinosaur hunting, let me tell you. I would miss again. Well, why should I even think? Why should I think any differently? Steel, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the 137 bits. How are you doing tonight? Be very, very quiet. I am hunting dinosaurs. Oh my god! Fuck you, game! Oh my fucking god. Okay, I need to relax. I'm gonna get myself killed yet if I'm not careful. Well, that hit him. Your dodging means nothing to me, you hear me? Nothing. Oh, you're suffering from pain too. Awesome. And this is why we take no chances, chat. It still managed to cut off like a good... A little less than a third of my health. Bastard. Too hot. Keep getting tired of napping all day. Aw. I'll make you too hot. Uh, anyway. And so we continue on. Another victim has fallen to my bow and blade. Steel, we're going to be going towards the Spire of Light today to see if we could secure a easier route to Enmicro Forest. Failing that, we're going to go check out the entrance of the Ziggurat Passage.
There is the Spire of Lights. Can we drink some clean water first before we keep continue further? Nice iron mine vein here. We don't really need any our to do any iron mining right now, so we will pass, but it is a good thought. Size, I need more cloth. Oh, I'm hungry, am I? What great timing. And eat this big marshmallow. I'm very healthy for you. Always eat your fruit and vegetables, chat. Otherwise, you're going to get eaten by these stupid dinosaurs. Hmm, another one. That's right, get countered. I'm getting a lot better at using the counter, actually. Twice now, I countered him twice. Still took damage, but I still managed to kill you. Your soul is mine. <laughs> hey, it's one of those guys over there. Um, I already built a fire sword spear though, so I don't really need to. Fight him off. How is my armor looking? This looks like it's holding together. Bo really needs some more needs some uh, repairs. I cannot get enough of killing these dinosaurs now that I've gotten decent at it. Maybe I should go ahead and get the hunter uh, class tree, since I've been doing so much hunting. Have I been to this area before? Uh, maybe not. Oh, oh. Great googly moogly. What do we have here? I do believe this is the fabled alpha ter alpha sar thing the game was talking about. We will need to cheese the fuck out of this one. If we can even get close to killing it, of course. I don't have any satchel charges with me. It's very well that this may that trying to fight this thing may spoil my dispel my doom, but we do need to get an idea of how strong it is anyway. If I can convince it to get into a fight with that phytosaur over there, I might have an even better chance. But I would need to basically run around and make it accidentally hit the phytosaur, which will cause the phytosaur in turn to turn around and start fighting it. I don't know how much health or defense these things have, so it's impossible to know if my weapons will even do damage to it. I don't really feel comfortable, actually. I, I need... I definitely need more... more traps. And I can't make any more traps, though. 8 in the morning. Is there a supply cache here? Take two action. Welcome to the stream. Long time no talk. I'm doing great. How are you doing? <laughs> Just doing some dinosaur hunting. 
I'm about to possibly get myself killed because I get a little too. I get. I often bite more off. Bite much more often. I can chew in this game. In this case, I'm going to try and fight an alpha Tyrannosaur, which is a stronger version of the Tyrannosaur. I'm not sure if my weapons are enough. Our uh, weapons and skills are enough to fight this thing, but we're gonna make an honest go at it. I already set up some traps over there. I'm not sure if I set up enough traps. You can never have enough traps in this game. As I tell chat, this game, you must abuse every mechanic in this game to win because the game will abuse every mechanic to kill you. My 3D model is not on right now, so you cannot see the big-ass smile I have on my face, chat. Because the fucking Tyrannosaur had thrown itself into the lake by accident and now cannot get out. So, of course, we must take advantage of this. Let's uh, start with using a Discipline Potion there. Which, hopefully will increase the damage of my bow attacks. Holy shit, he is a fast motherfucker. Good thing he's still stuck down. Oh man, yeah, I don't think I could even outrun this thing if I wanted to. Yeah, no way am I fighting this thing fair. Fuck that shit. No fucking way. I will cheese this thing to death. It looks like it's going to take a lot of my arrows, though. You can never have enough traps. That's very true. Well, there goes the rest of my bows and arrows. The rest of my arrows, chat. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. The game is probably going to spite me, though, and be like, No, you cannot harvest any uh, Tyrannosaur stuff for, from this thing. Ah, but I can. Hell yeah. Thank you, video game. I didn't even need to use any of my alpha sandwiches just now. Alright. Since we didn't go very far, let's go ahead and head back home really quick. And we're going to craft ourselves a Tyrannosaur Axe. Which gives extreme bleeding when you hit things with it. Steel, can you be a deer and uh, set a pole for me really quick? The poll questions will be: Should Lulz continue? In the, should Lulz go ahead and continue exploring the spire, the uh, spire tower, or should I go ahead and end stream after I craft this Tyrannosaur axe? Because this has been really good luck for me lately. I don't think I would have been able to kill that Tyrannosaur on my own if I if it had not gotten itself stuck. Well, take your time. We have had such good luck today, chat. When I put uh, when I put Dino Dinosaur Hunter on today's stream title, I was kind of being Partially facetious, but I'm glad that we actually managed to get a lot of dinosaurs killed. Oh, you can just do pull? Okay. That works too. Do you mind doing that, Steel?
I really like this armor too. It's better form fitting. It doesn't restrict me as much. It protects me against decent enough, no, enough damage. Not as much as the other ones, but I'm more of a roguish character anyway. Now, I will need to purchase a Brutal Axe before I can craft this, but it's not that expensive. Only around 200 silver. I got plenty of gold. I'm burning money. Is there anything up here? How can I help you? Oh no. So I not have any palladium? God damn it. What can I do for you? I know where I can find Palladium, but I'll need to... It's over there where the Giants Village is. I'd much prefer to just buy it from someone. Can I help you? Great. Alright. Well, at least I got some alpha meat. And I mean, if I'm not lazy, I could just do that myself. I could just go over there, mine the palladium, and, you know, make my axe. What's an additional detour amongst friends, anyway? Amongst us. Among us. Man, I have a lot of raw meat, don't I? You know, I also just noticed that... You don't know what you're doing? No problem. Um... Can't find it on the mod dashboard, huh? One second. Well, that's fine. Millie says we can just do it by pull, so... We'll do that. Open a setup menu to do a pull. 
Actually, I'm not even sure if it's going to show up on my end because I'm using OBS, using Twitch through OBS. Try typing in slash pull and see if that brings up the options for you. Oh man, my bow is falling apart. Should take some time to repair it. Take two action, you're looking around for a working PS2. I don't know if these are in your area, but vintage stock should have plenty of them. Or maybe a slackers. What time is it? Two in the afternoon. Bow is a decent health. Food is still healthy. Got some water. Let me drink some tea. Let's go ahead and pick up some palladium armor. I'll at least put the... Actually, I could craft it immediately as soon as I find it. So I shouldn't worry too much about... Yeah. As soon as I get the palladium scrap, I can craft it immediately and make some room in my inventory. The poll you're making is to determine whether I should end tonight's stream after I craft Tyrannosaurus, or if I should continue to find a way to open up the road to the Spire Tower to uh, get to Enmerka Forest. So basically, quit. Should I quit after making a Tyrannosaur axe, or should I quit after uh, investigating the Spire Tower? Because I've been streaming for about four hours. I think it'd be nice. This would be a nice um, thing to end on, since we've had such mo so much good luck this stream. I'm be making my way over here to where I saw the palladium, or palladium vein. I'm gonna kick myself if it turns out there's a closer source of palladium somewhere. dead animals in my wake. Feels good, man. Good feels, good feels all around. PETA would not be happy. But fuck PETA.
Am I going the right direction? the wrong direction thankfully there are some land bridges here so I see there probably and okay this is salvageable we can do this I see a beach. Hell, we could probably just cross the river, couldn't we? I'm getting fairly hungry, so I was going to eat some fungal cleansers anyway. Or, I could not be dumb, and I could just go over here. It's 4.20 in the evening, it's getting fairly dark in game. We must be over here. We need to be there. Two raids tonight. Very good. Surprise Pacel hasn't checked in. Usually he gets off work right around now. For a moment there, I thought there was a person. It was just a tree limb. I love how the game can actually make you paranoid enough to make the to consider those sort of things. There's that energy shield thing, preventing entrance to the Spire of Light still. I still don't know how to bypass that, but there's probably a way around it somewhere that I have not found. I really just want to go over there so I can have a shortcut to the Enmerco Forest. So I don't need to walk through, Sur walk through Surzo. Palladium get Tyrannosaur X made. Thirty two damage per hit and inflicts extreme bleeding. Extreme bleeding. Extremist of the bleeds. Now is it better than the horror X? Who knows? I think they're both really good, honestly. some water.
Oh, I see some dinosaurs there. That's not a dinosaur. That's an oh, that's an automaton. I've never seen one look like that before, though. Some green stuff following it, which means it has buffs or something. Really wish I could shoot stuff from this distance, because otherwise I would just deal with them now. Instead of having to fuck with them later. Can't always get what you want, though. Some fire rags, a cool potion. A potion that's cool. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at this mofo. Uh, actually, you know what? I can't tell what it is. But it's freely walking in the rancid water, which is very disconcerting. It's definitely a horror monster of some kind. Has like... Oh, those aren't tentacles. Those appear to be swords, chat. It appears to have swords floating in the air. Scimitars, if you will. Either probably has toxic or decay or poison. So, very spooky indeed. We are going to try and kill it. Get ourselves as much distance between it and us before we start our attack. Going to use up all, are going to deploy all of the traps once more. It's spooky though that it can walk freely in the rancid water. God, I still I wish I had like 20 of these things still. If I die in this battle chat, we'll call it a night. If not, we have more places to loot. Hmm. Can I even shoot it from this distance? Wow. The answer is yes. Yes, you can. Oh, man. It's running after us now. Alright. Fire magic. Took a fear of damage from my arrows. It's already dead. Wow. Okay. A blade dancer. Wow. Now, those are a really cool looking set of robes. Kind of sad that I had to use up another one of my fire magics without um, actually getting to hit anything with it, but you know what? That's a win. We're just getting a lot of W's today, chat. Hold up. Okay. I thought that was an enemy from one there. This is the entrance to the cigarette. We are right over here, cigarette passage, which I'm presuming goes to a dark cigarette. I want to get to the spire of light though. I wonder if I can just go across the water and do that. There's a cigarette right there. That must be this thing. There's an island here, but I don't think I can reach that. I think that's elevated. Hmm. Okay. Let's go explore around this thing really quick. Get some blood shrooms while we're here.
hog. Another nice mana stone here as well. With some Hecamanite, no less. Cool, cool. I can put this in the uh, giant's house. Actually, I might even be able to actually invade the giant's house now. I just need to purchase a large emerald and maybe a ruby and another aquamarine. Yeah, assuming I don't find any first. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna go look inside here. Huh? There's no doorway. So it goes to the Ziggurat Passage. We gotta find a way to see if we can just head over there to Enmicro Forest. That's a really big mana stone over there. I'll tell you what. The marshlands sure are peaceful when you're not in immediate danger of being murdered. Too peaceful, actually. If I recall correctly, the last time I was here, there was quite a few beasties that wanted my flesh. And I don't remember quite what I fought here before. That supply cache came in a great time. Some dead horrors. Pog. Hey Death, how are you tonight? Hey Yaruki, thank you so much for the head pads. Welcome to the stream. We're a little bit later than usual tonight. I'm doing okay. It's been a good day. The stream has been very lucky lately. Been getting a lot of W's. And yourself? I really need to make some more palladium. Why is the game not going to let me... Do I not have enough iron? Oh. Want a couple games of Halo 2 with two friends? Oh, oh, Valo. A couple, friend, a couple games of Valo. Very nice, very nice. Congratulations. Our last game was with two dummy and we still won. Very nice. <laughs> that lightning elemental thing is no bueno, chat. I don't want to fight those. It's a good thing they light up in the evening because they're made of lightning. You'll be right back? Okay, no problem.
actually, I could just give myself lightning resistance. I'm hungry. Let's change. Let's uh, fix that then. There are a lot of these things crawling around, aren't there? In this general location. God, that spooked me. Huh? No secret entrances over here. My guess is you need to shut down the force field from inside here. And oh, there is clearly a horror hiding inside that spire of light there. I'll need to cheese that to win as well. Two of them? Two of them. Okay. Um... God. I don't like my chances. I don't like my chances fighting those things without any traps, without significant advantages. If I can get them separated from each other, I could probably fight them one at a time, though. Yeah, actually, that sounds like a great idea. Thought so. Knocked back, bitch. Okay, you know what? With lightning resistance, not too bad. I could probably fight the other guy, too. Let's not get cocky, though. A apparent victory can go away just as easily as you get it. We're gonna hold on to the alpha sandwich for now. I'm going to bandage myself up. I do want to fight that thing though while I still have some while I still have some buffs. The buffs don't fail me now. Bad move, buddy. You should have stabbed me. Wow. You know what? That was actually fairly straightforward. I was expecting it to be much harder than it actually was. What grave terror hides behind this? Oh, there's nothing here. It's just a magical force field that's protecting nothing. An old legion shield. Ashel potion. Antidotes. Ashel potion would be good. We'll keep this stuff here for now. We're going to lose it later, chat. For now, I need to be very careful about fighting these things. This buddy over here has spotted me. I think I still have some electrical boon, though. Oh, I fucked up.
Need to retreat, champ. Eat some food. For instant healing. Got you. That's the trick. You set up a series of traps and shields to protect nothing and then throw everything in the chest in the corner of the room. Mm hmm. Indeed, it is. Ooh, more palladium. Shit, man. I. That was actually really fun. Oh, there's another one? That one looks even tougher. What the shit? Yeah, I need some and more buffs for this one. That must be the boss monster. I think this is... If I had some freaking things to use as traps, that would be great right about now. You know what? We might just call the stream after we finish this part. This uh, particular dungeon chat. This is, this is great. This is actually really fun. Ah! Clothing we can tear apart. Thank you, game. The adventurers never see it coming. No, they do not. Dumb adventurers. We can consume some alpha sandwiches. Cool, I got some iron spikes now. Oh, fuck my life. Are those guns? Is that a gun? No way. <laughs> it's a gun. Ow. Freaking shot me with electricity. What the shit? Stay calm. I too have guns. I too can fight with the power of guns. Literally. I have the power of guns and enemy on my side, buddy. Buddy little pal. Ah, he's put himself down there. Okay. Since you want to go and do a gun battle so badly, take this. Ha! Oh, uh, that didn't do anything. Well, actually, it did chop off part of his health, and I don't think... Okay, cool. I can actually take cover, too, chat. Huh. Imagine that. I don't have any iron scrap. I can't believe I'm actually fighting this thing in a gun battle. This game is wild. I love Outward. So much. Reloading! I Ow! I could probably finish it off, actually, at this point. But, no. I refuse to get close. Besides, I need to save my health and stuff for fighting the one up there. Good thing I decided to bring some or brought some bullets with me, man. Let's loot his body. Golden Spectre. Oh my god, chat. I can make this beautiful golden ass claymore, which does 41 damage. The other one probably has a gold mechanism I could also loot his body for. And I also got a gold mechanism waiting for me in Emrakur. What's this button do? I have it. Hmm. Some potions. Drink this one.
cool. Running out of health though, chap. But we're doing pretty well so far. Just need some... Let's go kill the other one up there. I got an idea. Ow! Damn it. Why did I waste a bullet? Push the wrong button. Alright. We're gonna go kill the other robot upstairs. And make no mistake, that's basically what these are. Magical... What are magical automatons, but... Robots by any other name. I'm fairly sure it's the same robot, or same kind of robot, too. It's, uh... Oh, no. No, that one's slightly... That one's worse, chat. That one has these big sickle things. But, um... Actually... It's rather far away. I'm not even sure. I could probably just kill it with arrows from this distance, right? Yeah, let's try that. You shouldn't put yourself in unnecessary danger if you can be avoided. Indeed, I will. Oh. Now, I just hope this thing doesn't have some- doesn't have, like, magic spells, like a teleportation or something, and doesn't just, like, reappear here behind me and be- to be all nothing personal kid and then just insta-kills me or some shit like that. Because this seems like the kind of game that would do that, you know? It's so majestic. I really like the monster designs in this game, man. Alright, alright, enough ogling. Ow, fuck. Well, that was a waste. Maybe we could shoot from here, maybe. Yeah? I yo. Is it is it getting stuck on the railing? Oh, that one hit. Ha! You are stuck. It looks like it has similar AI to Tyrannosaurus's. It's been afflicted by pain. S it really? Oh, that wasn't that bad at all. I could have probably just killed it my own, on my own. Hmm. Cool. Very pog. We're just full of wins today, aren't we? Look at all these cool books. I would love to have this building as like a personal headquarters or something. Whoa. Very pretty. What does this button do? Small sapphire. A shiv dagger for iron scrap. Gonna refill our shotgun weapon here. Mm, okay. Let's 
go ahead and flip this switch over here. Not sure what that does, but... It's a teleporter. Okay. I can dig it. I hope there's no other enemy that's just waiting for me on the other side of this, though. Can eat some food. Drink some water, hydrate, redeem myself. Don't need any salt right now. And you know what? I'm gonna grab the old Legion shield too, in case I need to cheat and switch back to my sword and shield style. I'll kind of make me hydrate. Oh, thank you, Kage. Welcome to the stream. Oh my fucking god! No. Let's pro let's do this properly, chap. Let's do this properly. Alright. And an alpha sandwich. Thank you. Okay. Now who wants to party? Hello there. Ow. Oh, there's two of you. Okay. Ow, stop running away for fuck's sake. Alright, I got one of you. Cool. Mm. Exit stage right. Need to eat a dr I need to drink a potion really quick. Where are my potions? There we go. Thank you. No way! I thought I blocked that. Oh, I fucked that one up. Okay. Fucked that one up too. Man, I'm getting a lot of L's now after all those W's. Potion, 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 potion. You know what? No. I'm not risking any more of these, any more losses tonight. Eat. Um. Oops. Okay, game. Sure. By all means. I fucking hate it when that happens. Cleave. You block that? You didn't block that though, did you, bitch? Oh, yes. I can't make you hydrate, but I'll make you dehydrate. Boys, one at a time. I need to buy an iron claimer when I get back. Need to pick up some firefly powder on the way back to Very Pog. What's behind this thing? Hmm. Looks like a Hmm. Oh. This is a, a giant god. I wonder if the giants originally had some sort of mass civilization. Welcome back, Def. How are you doing? <laughs> what do we got here? An iron, iron shield, some food. Tear apart the shield for parts. Let's 
What did uh, what did this do? It appears there's another teleporter there, chat. If the uh, current experience I've had so far is any indication, I'm sure that this will spawn me straight into a trap. Again. But hey. Traps are meant to be broken. I offer that with no comment. Of course, the game lets me teleport at will, so I can just teleport back if there is a baddie over here on the other side. No, no big deal. I can't help but feel like this is a boss room, though. Chat. But, oh my goodness, this game has so many beautiful sights. Look at this thing. So this must be the solar system of the game of Outward, I'm betting. I mean, look at it. Is that not... Is that not beautiful? I mean, sure, they're better, but... Not once up for bear of corruption. Turn back or your life is forfeit. The Life Mender will not tolerate your presence here. Wait, I actually have the book of the Life Mender. Who are you? I am the Light Mender. I am not someone to be trifled with. I have seen centuries pass in my time as a lich, and I will not let you solely this place with the corruption in your very blood. Alright, then can I just remove the corruption really quick? I could just go back to town and literally drink a potion which will remove it. Corruption? I'm just your average human explorer. What are you talking about? Every human on this wretched world is a catalyst for the corruption. So long as even one of your kind breeds, there can be no hope for, for preserving the world. The only way is to cleanse it with light and thunder. I wonder if the light mender is the true form of Alat. Since Alat's so obsessed with fighting, you know, with killing the uh, corruption. I would rather transform your species into something better and will dedicate many more centuries to this plan. But if I have to choose between humanity and the existence... Of the world, I choose the world. I don't expect you to understand. Leave, now. You have nothing to fear from me if you depart. My plans will take centuries more to bring to fruition. But if you interfere with me, I'll show you no mercy. I'm not even sure if I can defeat this thing right now. I mean, how do you defeat a literal ball of light? At the same time, I'm not playing as an asshole in this game. If given the chance, I think I would fight the Light Mender to keep itself from destroying humanity. Our and our already. <clears throat> our, our, our. Probably not my best work, but thank you for the our, our redeemed death. <laughs> Alright, this may... This would be an epic way to end tonight's stream if I actually managed to defeat the Light Mender. I even have the I even ha even have the Lightmender's book, but also I'm like, could I just drink a corruption an anti uh, cleansing potion to remove the corruption? Uh, you would fight me. Um. So, are we gonna fight or? Oh, so you have to teleport, okay, to the fighting location. Okay, okay. What if I interact with this? So if I push this, I teleport. I'm kind of low. I have only a quarter health. I mean, the problem with this game is there are no manual saves. This game is entirely auto-saving. 
I mean, even if I lose, it's just gonna teleport me out the outside of the. It's probably just gonna teleport me outside of the building, and back to town. But what I could do is I'll fight it one time, see how strong it is. If I win, I win. If I lose, I'll just come back later when I have better equipment. Let me prepare my weapons first. Thank you for the head pads and the wiggles. Alright. Loaded all my guns up. Extreme bleeding is great, but not against mechanical things. But I do have a lightning boon, which allows me to gain some resistances against lightning for a while. This one, the Jade Acolyte robes, does not make me more resistance against lightning, it makes me take more damage from lightning, which is not Pog. And I do have some more, I do still have some buffs left. Also, I can give myself the Possessed Boon. But the problem is, I have some burnt health right now. So I'm operating on less than stellar health at the moment. Well, chat, we will see how well I do. If I succeed, great. If I don't succeed, well, we'll come back later. And I also got Stone Flesh Elixir. This would be very useful. Thank you. Something tells me I'm going to need it. Okay. I love that this boss battle is actually optional too. I don't know what I'm up against. I'm assuming it's about it's implied to be a god, but I don't mind drinking one of these mist potions just in case. Gonna drink some water. I'm going to eat this, which gives me obscene levels of stamina regeneration. Like stupidly high stamina stamina regeneration. Going to drink the Stone Flesh Elixir. Which also gives me discipline, it looks like. Well, no, it doesn't give me discipline, it just gives me impact resistance. I'm going to drink a, a discipline potion as well. Just staff. I'm just stacking buffs, chat, for days. All the buffs. If I can't win even with this stuff, it's not meant to be. Gonna set my sword on fire as well. All right. Oh, oh my goodness. It's literally a god. I also barely did any damage to it. Also, I'm dumb. I forgot to use my spell, which literally gives me. And he just took off more than half my health. What the? Oh shit. Trying to fight this thing with melee weapons is insane. I will never get close enough. And you have to do some bullet hell mechanics too? What the shit? Damn. It doesn't help that I did all the all those buffs, right? And I forgot to use the most important buff at all of all, which is anti-lightning resistance. Strange apparition.
Find another ghost manifesting in the Hallowed Marsh. The specter looked like it wanted to offer something. Hmm. Beware the Gold Lich. Interact with the throne to fight the Gold Mask Lich in the Light Spire. Alright. Well, chat, I did say that if I lost to this thing, I would go ahead and end stream because... Or at least I would stop trying to fight that thing again because it's quite obvious that I am not prepared. And I mean, holy shit, the amount of damage that thing did to me. It literally vored half my health. I'll definitely need to come back with lightning resistant equipment. The Lightmender. The so called Lightmender. I will remember that name, Lightmender. Oh, but thank you so much for the materials to allow me to make an even stronger weapon than the one I'm currently using. Corey, it's been a while. How you doing? Unfortunately, you just missed me get my ass kicked by a boss level monster with bullet hell mechanics. That I was definitely not expecting. We're also going to be ending stream fairly soon because it's been more than four hours. Or it's almost been five hours, in fact. I still need to do some gacha dailies, and I just got thrumped pretty hard. So. <laughs> Otherwise, how have you been doing? Also, my health is all the way has come, been completely fucked. So, yeah, there's not much else we can do right now. Let me just pick up some firefly powder on the way home. And we'll start making our way back to town. For now. I'm excited to fight that thing again in the future chat. And when we come back, we're going to be even more prepared. Let me tell you what. Actually, no. No, 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 no. We are not going to... We're not going to leave just yet, chat. I didn't need to fight the life menu. That's completely optional. The game... Was having me set... Turn off... Swip, pull all these switches for a reason. I get the impression that we might not need... Oh my god. Yes! Chad, look! The original reason I was going here was to turn off that force field so I can get an easy access to Enmerkor Forest. So now we just need to find a way to... Well, I mean, I got there last time, right? I found a way around this thing to get over there. Let's check. Let's double check. Mm -hmm. Wait, how so... How so... What, Cory? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the chat just now. Um, but yeah, there's actually a... There's actually a lich up there called the Lightmender who's trying to cleanse the world of corruption and he... Doesn't want to help humans because he thinks humans are responsible, are natural vessels of corruption. And he has this thousand year plan to turn humans into a form that cannot be corrupted. And I don't want to let him destroy humanity just for that. So I fought him and lost because I didn't know what to expect. Because goddamn, he does a lot of damage. My health is like... The, oh, if you look at the far left, my health is... Uh, Dark red and also flashing red. Every time you take damage in this game, sometimes you take damage that cannot be healed without special ingredients or without resting. And I've taken that much damage so far. I don't have any ingredients right now which can heal me from that. So the only option I have open to me right now is to uh, either go to sleep or... Yeah, pretty much, actually. Is to either go to sleep or to uh, find those ingredients and use those. For right now, though, I thought you were talking about my... No, my in, my, my in real life health is okay right now, knock on wood. But <laughs> thank you for your concern. No worries there, though. Okay. What is this? 
An ancient looking tablet is here. It might be of interest to someone who is well traveled. This ornate granite tablet is covered in the symbols of an old language. It might be useful later. Cool. So I've just stolen a tablet from here. We're heading back up to teleport pads because I want to see... Alright, so there is no other thing we can explore around here, right? Let's double check just to make sure. I can't believe he just let me touch that. I guess he figures it's of no consequence because he doesn't think that I can beat him. I can't beat him right now, but I will eventually. I'm guessing the life mender was once human at some point. Alright. So I need to find the exit to here to figure out how to access Amicor Forest from there. Also, I'm badly dying of thirst right now, chat. Yeah, that's right. You heard right. I'm Lulz is thirsty right now. Okay, so this goes to the Hild Marsh. Hydrate. Thank you. I mean, no, I mean, I was actually dying with thirst in the game. <laughs> But thank you. I wonder where this goes. Oh. I yo. There is another section to this after all. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to defeat that guy that easily because I'm currently dying of health. Currently dying. I don't have much in the way of health. And I'm really debuffed right now. Looks like I don't have much in the way of choice though. Prepare for combat. Why do I always forget how to... Oh. Just a moment ago, I was having an easy time against these things, but now I don't because I don't have the freaking... Okay. Got some lightning resistance up in here now. So that's that. Or he'll just insta-kill me because I have only a quarter of health left. That did help a lot, thank you. At least in the real world. It did not help in game though. He insta-killed me because that lightning spell does a stupid amount of damage. You know, this guy is so considerate, he sends me back out on a red carpet. He didn't need to do that. Because I'm so smart, I'm gonna go ahead and go back out, go back inside there anyway. And just do what I originally was going here to do. Alright, have a good night, Death. Thanks for stopping by again. <laughs> Wait, are there two of them? Weren't there just one of you earlier? What the hell? Are you guys having kids in here? Well, we can at least just look around, right? There's a teleport pad in here. If I wasn't fucking dying right now, I'd be able to kick y'all's asses. I wonder if I can trap them behind. Okay, it turns out you can. I wonder if I can kill them with... 
traps. Hmm. Well, I'm here anyway. Might as well try. Looks like they are too bit too fat, too thick to uh, fit behind a little corner there that I've exploited. As you can see, being small does in fact have its benefits, it does have its uh, uses. Really wish I had some explosives though. Failing that, I do have my gun still. But I don't have that many bullets. And there's two of them. This won't be enough to kill all of them. I could probably cheese at least one of them. Hmm, okay. Wait, okay. Damn it. And I got them down to half health, too. Cook, eat, or cook your food before it goes to waste. I wonder if it'll keep respawning me just outside the entrance. Looks like the answer is yes. I wonder if they're still going to be injured by the time I get back there. Or if they've like respawned their health. Why is that music playing? Again. Oh, okay. So they are still unhealthy? Cool. Cool. No! Let me get over there. I see, so you're not normally supposed to be able to go through that. Okay. I must have just glitched the game. One more time? <laughs> Sorry, I'm really stubborn. Uh, what is happening? It would appear that the game is tired of my bullshit and instead of letting me it has just sent me all the way back here. As if to say, stop trying to enter my domain. But ever since but since when was I ever good at listening to directions chat? Every time this happens, it just makes me want to try again. And what can I say? I've killed pretty much everything in this map. Literally, I've killed I think I've killed the bandits and the dinosaurs so much that I don't even know if they're going to respawn until I leave physically leave this area. So yes, I could just keep going back time after time. I'm going, I promise though, if I do manage to successfully kill those two gold robots and whatever. And I'm not even thirsty anymore, by the way. I'll go ahead and 
end the stream because I do need to complete my gacha dailies. Let's go ahead and do a full sprint. We're going to eat some stamina boosting green jelly toast. Oh, there's another Tyrannosaur over there. Eh. We'll leave him be. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem. Unfortunately, I'm actually out of water. So I'll go ahead and grab that after we sprint all the way back to the Spire, to the Light Spire. In spite of our L's taken in the Light Spire, I would say that today overall has been pretty good in game. You'll show me who isn't thirsty? Do it, you won't. Do it, you won't. Thank you for the posture check and the hydrate redeems. Oh god. Oh god, oh fuck. Nothing but hydrate redeems. Actually, can I use the hex cleaner on this? No. I probably can't. That'd be too convenient. You know, I just realized if that's a lich, can I use the ethereal... Resistance potion, the ethereal potions to get uh, damage resistance from it. Hey, why are you hostile to me? Normally, those these dinosaurs are not hostile at all. Did I take a wrong turn again? Oh wait, no. Here we go. Man, if you do not stop chasing me, I'm going to shoot you to death, I swear to god. Don't- do not tempt me right now, buddy. Do not fucking tempt me, I swear to god. That's it. Oh man, I think I just made it angrier, chat. Oh, if you wait, no. They can actually hit through walls. Yeah, I think it's angry, chat. I think it's angrier than it was before. Ow! How am I not dead? How am I not dead? Man. Oh my god. Okay, this is just taxing now. Can you please leave me the fuck alone? Well, if I wait long enough, he's literally going to burn to death, so there's that. Yep. God, I can't believe that actually happened. Hmm. Alright. 
let's, uh, as I was saying, let's head back a little. Iron scraps required. Fuck. Alright, I guess we won't be able to use uh, shotgun shells anymore, chap. I can't believe I actually survived fighting that Phytosaur just now. It was pretty close, wouldn't you say? I need... You asked for it. I need to make sure your posture is okay before you nap. Before you nap. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate that. You have a good rest of your day, Asha. I'm gonna be going to bed after I make another attempt, another stab at this um, dungeon. Doesn't it know that Chad is already tempting you plenty? <laughs> Very true. I can't believe I actually thought I was going to play this game without using guns once. Because me medieval scheme. I tried to use guns only as a last resort weapon. Because... As you could see, they leave you quite vulnerable otherwise. All right. This time we're going to shoot first, ask questions later, chat. Yeah, that's right. We got two guns now. We got two guns now. Really hope they did not he re heal. Otherwise, this will be very hard indeed. Ah. They did re heal. Oh well. YOLO. Alright, cool. Huh? One of them is Confusion. The other one's half dead. Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Oh, holy shit! Did you see that, chap? I killed them both at the same time. Ha! Ah. I'm probably talking too loud. But, oh man, that made my night. Eat shit and die. Huh? Why is that music playing again? Reloading my handguns really quick. Another Brutal Axe. I didn't need to buy Brutal Axe after all. What a waste of my money. Eh, we're doing pretty well so far. I shouldn't complain that much. I have a feeling that once I open this, something is going to pop out and kick my ass. No, it's a teleporter pad. Okay. Some improvised bed rolls. Bright nobleman attire. Hmm. 
wonder what's over there. Indeed, I wonder where this leads. Upstairs? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I definitely don't have... I don't think I can kill this one, chat. Let's, uh, go to bed really quick using these thoughtfully placed improvised bed rules. Finally, we can heal our health. I like how there is actually more to this dungeon outside of what I already explored with the uh, gold lich. fucking god, really? So not only does sleeping not actually heal my health at all. Well, at least it put me back out here again. So it's not all bad. Once more. I like that my food, my bag actually, I like that the, for whatever reason, my food is not being destroyed. I wonder what these mechanical monstrosities are weak to anyway. Okay, here's where we were last time. My last discipline potion, chat. My pain resistance is much lower, though. Seems like there's only one of them in this room, at the very least. He doesn't see me either. But I don't have any ingredients with which to make more traps. Unless I use these things to make my traps. No explosives. Not much in the way of offensive spells. My best pet... My best bet in approaching here is to well actually I don't know I wonder how much more damage I would do if I were to shoot him from over here with a scroll of nah what I probably should be doing is getting him stuck running around and juking him but first i wonder if i can okay that was dumb i don't know why i did that 
Did he hear me? Oh yeah, I think he heard me. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I know this is the last room because there's no other hallways or anything here. It's going on 5:30. Am I gonna admit, am I going to miss today's gotcha stuff because of my stubbornness? Maybe. Y'all know I almost never stream this long, right? Like almost never. I really wish these health potions would heal my torn up health, but I guess they wouldn't make any sense and be a little bit broken. Times like these make me wish that I did bring a bedroll with me, a better bedroll. <sighs> Why? I must be getting tired because I just wasted that shot just now. Why is he suffering from confusion? Hmm. Interesting. Ah. Well, it's good to know that it works at least, but we're both suffering from confusion right now. Oh, Ayo. So that's why... So I could probably hit him from down here. Cool. Hey, Pacel. No problem. Thank you for being you. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? As usual, I'm being stubborn, and that's why I'm still playing this game, even though it's been five hours, and I need to do my gacha dailies. It's been a very good day online and offline, let me tell you. Ah, I need you to sit still. There's only a way I could... He's in the teleporter room right now, so I can't even hit him from this angle.
Ah. At least he doesn't heal that easy, uh, like quickly. And takes decent damage from my arrows. Almost out of arrows chat. I'm not even sure. At least I'm hitting it. But I really wish I could hit with a sniper shot, you know? For fuck's sake! Do I have any more bullets? No, I don't. I can't craft any right now. Still for just one second, please. That's all I ask. All my guns are out. it's healing or something. I don't know if the game is just playing tricks on me or what. Nope. I'm about to morb. Fighting this thing. I am about to fucking morb. Actually, no, no. I, I, I don't know why I'm, why I'm doing, why I'm thinking so hard. I can just do this the whole time. I had some bullets left, I could just finish it off. But now I'm down to five. So as soon as sniper shot's ready, I'm gonna pop out, shoot it with another sniper shot, and do it again. Actually, at this point, I could probably just kill it with my sword, but you don't want to. I only have four bullets, uh, four arrows left. Oh, finally. Okay. Okay. We did a chat. It took us a bit. I'm probably not going to be able to do my gacha dailies tonight, but I think we did it. Oh my god. All this for a golem elixir? Yes, I'm thirsty. I'm very thirsty. Thank you for noticing. It is a very sick looking raptor. And I had to kill uh, quite a few of them so far. You know what? I'm okay with this. That was actually a fairly good haul. You should see the boss monster, boss guy that's at the top of this gym pastel. Called the Lightmender. 
I wasn't even able to take any pictures of it before I had to... No, stop. Oh. Too heavy. I guess I don't really need all these alchemy kits, huh? Now let's see what's the end of this... What's at the end of this teleporter, huh, chat? Ayo. Oh, I know what this is. This is the room we saw over there earlier last time that we didn't... I forgot this thing was... This room was here. Oh my goodness. Chat, this is the most... The fanciest ca uh, chest I've seen in this entire game. Whatever is in here, it's probably worth the wait. Legacy chest. It looks like a coffin, almost. Huh? Legacy? What? What's this for? What? What does this thing do? What's this for? I guess that's a minute. There was nothing inside it. I guess maybe that's a mystery for another time. Let's go home, chat. You want to see my leg and chest, huh? Would you like a drumstick or two with that as well? <laughs> Save you a thigh. As you wish. Alright. Let's head back to town, chat. If I wanted to be an exploitive little bitch, I could intentionally get myself killed so that it teleports me back to town. But there's no guarantee that that will always work. I guess what I should really be doing is dropping some of my loot and heading back to town in the normal way, but... Or actually, I could just drop some of these extra materials they don't need right now. I just need to be able to run fast enough to head back to town. My bread's starting to spoil, so I could eat some of these to get rid of them. I'm kind of thirsty anyway. I'm all out of tea. And I can't drink these elixirs. Don't really need the bed. So dump that. I will not leave these gold lich mechanisms. Because they are such a pain in the ass to get. Oh, see? We're ready to move a lot faster. Alright. Much faster. Okay. 
I've been meaning to try out these new weapons anyway, a new shield. This awesome shield. We did a pretty good job today using the two-handed style weapons, but it's time to switch back for a short time just so we can get back home. I forgot I had sweep. That's a two-handed weapon. That's uh, great for two-handed weapon attacks, too. Man, I can't believe it's almost been six hours, chat. And you know what? I still did not do what I was originally... <laughs> I was originally trying to find a way to the ho to the other side, to Enmerker Forest, and I did shut down all the force fields, so I'm pretty sure I could do that now, but... Which one of these doors even leads to Enmerker Forest again? again? I could have sworn I saw it in the way. Ah, fuck it. We'll figure it out last next time. Lol, nope. What is that pole for? Will Lil's go to bed? Yeah, lol, nope. <laughs> you guessed right. You got me. Let's go home, chat. Probably would be helpful if I had some water to drink. At least I could run again. Is it seriously almost 3 in the morning? Holy shit. Chat, would you mind if I don't make it back to town and just go ahead and end the stream now and uh, send people and uh, raid someone so I can get some of my dailies done in the next 15 minutes. Because it's gonna take forever just to get back home. In fact, I actually got lost just now. I think I'm lost again because my brain is fried and it's dark. And I just repeatedly got myself killed just so I just have pure stubbornness. I'm fairly sure the way home is that direction and I'm 
kind of fucking myself over right now, but... Uh, fuck it, just this once. Alright chat, thank you so much for coming to tonight. This is the longest stream ever, or strongest stream yet. I'm sure there'll be longer ones in the future though. Let us go ahead and raid someone. Who do we have open today? Wait, was my Firefox really running this whole time? Wild. Absolutely wild. You got one for me? Oh, you're talk. Oh, I see how it is. NTRing me and like in front of everyone. I see how it is. Niall Pereira is up at this hour. Wabi is playing I Am Only Sleeping. Rissa 2D is playing. You know, I don't think we have ever read Koishi, but also Kita Ballara is playing Legend of Zelda. Hmm. No, uh, I'll send y'all to Napa. They're a Filipino VTuber. Pretty chill. Gonna make sure that they're not going to be ending the stream anytime soon, though. They've been streaming for an hour and 43 minutes. They're playing Apex right now. It looks like they're playing with two friends. They're doing a little collab. So we will go ahead and raid them tonight. Some cuties here. Oh, well that's dumb. Subscriber only chat. Do not want. I'm sending y'all to Kita Ballard instead. You're pretty chill. I'm gonna go back and see if there's anything else I can find. A lot of viewers tonight as well. Very good. <laughs> Tonight's raid message will be some variation of LOL's raid because I'm not very creative right now. If you have access to these emojis, feel free to use them. Otherwise, use your own. 10 viewers tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for stop for sticking around. Really appreciate that. Have a good night. We're playing on a uh, multi-world randomizer that crosses between the two games. And oh shit. Oh, what the hell? Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Yo. Uh, let me. Yep. Lols Prime. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, Ray. Party. I hope you guys uh. had a good raid today. Not raid. God. <laughs> Randomizer um, also randomizes items between both of our games, so I can find her something and send send to her, and vice versa. This is very easy. Not all of our items are crossed, but yeah, not all of them. Not but yeah. Wire. That seahorse had legs. <laughs> seahorse had legs. As as they do sometimes. And abs. Why does it have abs? Who who makes a seahorse monster and gives them abs? Oh, 
Oh shit. I'm good. No, it's fine. I just fell down really far. Um, some. I, th I think some places. Um, I think the trade ferry is. No. Are we? T are you talking about the wishing? Plus five bomb capacity. Oh, that's the second one by the door to the main. Uh, oh, okay. The one that was by the door to the main just dropped the chest. Um, the wishing, uh, the one that's in the center of the, uh, Lake Hylia, Hylia, uh, does not work. They purposely created it. Oh, it actually did work. Okay. Mushroom! I'm like all the way in fucking North Air, but I'll figure that out. Yeah, I mean, I've been saying you can go to the Witch King. Yeah. There we go, got it. Yo, Tunic! There you go. Tunic! Oh, finally, thank you. You're welcome. Uh oh. I wonder what, I actually kind of want to know what, um, Alt Celeste looks like now. I'm just permanently in the opera clothes. Which is <laughs> sweet. I actually right. kind of like that. It's bright. A lot. Oh, that's probably another one I can get. That would have been death for the real Mega Man, I know, right? Uh, the bat would give us a random item. Um, I oh, Yeah, I real Mega Man bat. needs a. Oh, I haven't done the bat yet. Now that I have the you hammer. You haven't? Oh, yeah, hammer. Appreciate that one. 